you lose it. What you talking about? I can tell you how you lose it. That's not true. I can tell you how no, you lose it. No, we do lose it. I can don't. tell you very easily how you Audience, lose it. Audience, everyone here is well rested. Amazing, <laughs> oh, yeah. what, back amazing back. what one pod off will do. Nah, facts Boy, so. everyone sure. prepared, like alert, that. aware. One, one pod a week. Salutations to y'all. Glad y'all could be here with us. Now, yes, we lose it. I'm shutting up. I'll let y'all have the fight. I disagree. Uh, we started with outside, inside. Again, it's been a consistent thing as I've been attacking and provoking and antagonizing yeah, ICE yeah. with. I have been. I also asked the gentleman off air to let me know if I'm pushing too hard on air so I could be a bit more mound. Is that true? Right? <laughs> no, that's true. You did. You did. You did ask that. Yes. Like, nigga. Nah, nigga what? I, I, had, I learned that. Okay. I learned that. Fair. I'm high. Like, I went and learned that. Hey, he can push hard sometimes. So, yeah, that was dumb. And y'all said no, so I'm just going to go harder. <laughs> I'm going to just go harder now with you niggas now. But, uh, yeah, so it's been pretty split. Uh, I've been getting attacked on both ends. I've been getting attacked all vacation, but who cares? Fuck you, niggas. Nah, you was, you was turning up on the internet this this week. We'll get there. Okay. We'll get there. I said, that's the first thing he said to me. <laughs> mm-hmm. I seen you on the ground. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, say that no, you know why it's funny. Hilarious. You know why it's funny. Yeah, it is. You know exactly why. I don't know. I don't know why. Oh, you're talking to Bart. Yeah, we all know why. Because you said you wasn't. And I told you. Yes, you are. You went crazy. I, I, I saw I, two pictures. He I, said he wasn't doing nothing on the gram. And I said, that's a lie. He gave no, us he said, y'all might shoot fits. y'all a little bit up. I only saw two pictures. No, it was... I, I'm just saying. Hold me, me down. I ish. only saw two. Hold pictures. me down. Ish. He did more, say, "Y'all might." Hold I'm me like, down. I'm like, I'm like it was more than two pictures. Audience, to those of you that are new here, <laughs> I can be polarizing. <laughs> <laughs> to those of you that are new, word. So what Ish is saying is true. I had this talk already. And it was like, "Are oh, you going crazy?" No, I didn't. I posted two pics. And they went crazy. That's what I said. I only uh, saw two. Three. They went dumb blogs went crazy. I had a clip loaded to go crazy. I was ready to go crazy. But they went too crazy. So then I was like, oh, nah, y'all doing a lot. Y'all doing a lot. Now they, they think piecing it out. I'm just trying, you know what I mean, get comfy a little bit. <laughs> y'all going crazy. So you only posted two, two pics the entire time. Is that what you're saying? Yes. No, of you know the picture you talking about. Okay, Stop it, yo. okay. I'm you just, know, I'm picture. just, I'm just making sure that well, that's okay. Two, oh, you posted two. more than two. I only saw two. I posted food, the beach, like. But that's what like I said. That. I was like, I, I know you're gonna give them some. Break. I, I said you're gonna give them some food. You're gonna give them this. Of that's what grabbing I mean. some titty on a yacht. <laughs> but that's when I was like, a lot of y'all must be new to. Do y'all know who I am? <laughs> yeah, that's mild for you. That's not going crazy. I don't think. I think that as people have aged and grown and like matured. You got to reintroduce yourself to people sometimes, yo. <laughs> Do y'all know who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Grabbing it. What did y'all think I was doing all these years on vacation when I wasn't posting? What y'all thought? Just imagine it to yourself. That was mad mound. They don't, they don't to... understand that niggas eat ass on the balcony on vacation. Yeah. Dog, I once they, changed they don't get my Twitter avi to me doing something that I won't even say today because of the <laughs> businessman that I am. Mm. Yeah, you was wild. Are you shitting me? Yeah, I had yeah. like just no, no you was type of respect for branding. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was your brand well, at the time. Well, and corporate yeah. sponsor. It's not your brand if you ain't getting no money from it. Well, <laughs> you're on a couple shows because of it. Nah. You're I didn't some have money control from of the edit. Well, true. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first time around anyway. You don't want to be in that position as an entertainer <laughs> where you find out with the rest of the world. No, hell no. But, uh, yeah, no, Ish, we lose the inside-outside thing to ICE because man of them niggas is inside. Everyone's inside now. Nah, I just think that people... And it's deeper than that. I'll tell you, I, was, I wasn't even saying that. that. That's not even why I was saying it. I disagree. I'll tell you real quick. I think oh, people ahead. hear what they want to hear. Okay. And they'll flip your story. You get what I'm saying? Like, with people... And, I, and I'm reading it now. Like, you could say... Oh yo, I like um, blue over yellow. Uh huh. Oh nigga, fuck you. You don't like yellow? Nobody said I don't like yellow. I said I like blue over yellow. Yo, yellow beat, and people will create what they want to create from it. Of course. So what our initial argument was is we were engulfed in a culture, and we were outside to live the culture. Mm. Niggas like, oh y'all ain't street niggas, y'all niggas. 
nobody said one thing about street shit. You get what I'm saying? Like people take what they want to take from it. So when you when you when you really take about what we said, we said, yo, if you were not outside, mm-hmm. you did not feel certain facets of hip hop the way niggas felt it that was outside living it, being around it 24-7 and consumed by it. Mm. They took it and ran the shit into drugs and streets no, no, and no, guns. No, 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 no. Stop right there. Get a mice. They, they, you Get took it mice. there too. Because you started sitting there saying, come on, you wasn't in the store. You ain't used to steal this out the store, slay this up your sleeve. That's different that from you. fucking running the drug cartel. About, no, 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 no. Talk about a whole different conversation. But no, no that, that went from inside out. That's what's all Get in that mice. conversation, bro. Cool. That's all I'm saying. So, it was a you was, you could, and, you start you started saying because I was an inside person, I missed out on this. Oh, you had you rode to school, you didn't walk, you didn't do this. You made it seem like my entire No, no, no. I know I did. Oh, okay. I told y'all that. Y'all didn't know that. It's a culture. But hold up, y'all didn't know that. No, I know. We talking about that. I'm talking about it's a cultural bonding that comes along, especially with little boys that play in the park. Mm-hmm. That play outside, that have little fights as little kids growing up. It's a cultural bonding thing more so than any street shit versus whatever. That's what I'm talking about. You get into mischief when you're a kid. It's certain shit you do as a little boy, and I think that you should experience as a little boy that molds you as a little kid, my nigga. You in a house all day looking at fucking video games. You are missing out on mad shit. Nobody said it had to be, yo, we over here stealing cars versus <laughs> being in the house. And niggas will take it to that extreme. You go. We all have young children, right? Indeed. Yes. Would you want your children to grow up like you did? Certain facets, yes. And certain facets, no. It's not that complete. of. A, it's not a black and white question. And that's my point. Mm. It's not either one side of the spectrum or Ty the is, other. Ty it's is, a middle. Tyus's point in this question taking our kids out of this, the majority of the kids today in the demo of 18 to 28, Mm -hmm. how many of them would you say are like us versus like ice? The field is like ice. It's much more like ice. It was because everything evolved. It's not true. You don't think the field is like ice. That's a demo question. No, that's a demo question. But we're talking about a young demo. No, but when I say demographics, demographics is more than age. I tease Ice because These little Ice kids ain't in that demo. Nigga, you are my age and you was getting a ride to school. That is true. That's, That's why one. I tease you. But, That's fine. but no, I do I, know I that it. those people and, have, and look, the, they and, have and, the field. You know what's funny too? I, I saw this chart because they go, was it Generation X, Generation Z, Millenniums, all that shit, right? Mm-hmm. We ain't in the same demo. Millennials started 81. So I'm not in, and it went from 81 to something like that. You close enough. I, that's what you're doing. You know, I, hey, look, I, yes, 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 I got semantics with semantic, man. That's exactly I, that what I did. True. You are correct. That's what I did. <laughs> that ish. is correct. You did. I, I learned from the best, so I have to shoot correct. it back a you, little you bit. We definitely. are in the same ballpark. Right? My thing is this. Boy, let me jump in You would have went to high school at the same time. Let me jump in a little bit. It's the same age. Wait, what'd you say? You would have went to high school at the same age. So you're the same age. You and Ice would have been the same age. I know, I know. Same time. Yeah. That's that's how I judge same age. Was high school in the 90s? Character one. Fuck was high school. Y'all are three years apart, so you would have been in high school together. at the same time. Yes. You would have. For real? Yes. Yeah. When I was a senior, what he would have been? Freshman. Sophomore. Sophomore. Food, right? No. Sophomore. All right. Sophomore. Yo, Wait, a sandwich, freshman, you think? Freshman, freshman. yeah, no, freshman, freshman. Freshman. <laughs> a slice. That's like oh, me. That's like cool. me. Yeah. Alex, I was a senior. Oh, okay. uh, your favorite hoagie. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, yo, yo, I'm totally down to let one of you niggas punch me in the face on here. Too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm dumb that for the content. Yo, yo, but listen, wait, no, listen. Ahead. I watched the director this morning uh-huh. say he and. I wish I had saved the clip, but stupid me. But he was talking about why. Damn, what was he saying? Director of what? Do you remember what he was? No. Okay. I don't remember. But he was a director of some shit. I wish I had the clip, but I don't. But he was made. He was jumping in the argument that they're having about you know what Marvel is doing to uh movies to comic books. To Hollywood and mm-hmm. yeah. movies and yeah, cinema, yeah. And what I he see. was saying was, was it a oh, what's my man named Scor- Scorsese? Something like, because he's been against them for a minute. Yeah, but he this gentleman was not against that. Oh, okay. Go this back, this Alex. gentleman was not. 
But what he did acknowledge was the culture of Hollywood, and this is happening in music and all across the board. Uh The culture is taking a hit. And the actual creators and like the theatrical and the plays and the that type of stuff uh, is totally forgotten about now because all that matters is bottom line, your balance sheet. Mm-hmm. So if that's all we're looking at now, then yeah, you're going to get the movie that brings in a gazillion dollars. A gazillion dollars but what was the memorable line from it? What did it do for the culture 20, 30 years from now, right? So he was saying that I think that that's happening in music as well. Yeah, I was going to say, that's all entertainment. And I think that that somewhere is in the core of my inside versus outside argument. When I say inside and things are being marketed and, and you just are getting it from all over the place, you're getting it from places that feed it to you from all over the place. So, yeah, you're getting it. And you're getting it more than we could have ever got it. So, right, I could only have dreamt to this day when I was I was the nigga getting 100 CDs for 99 cents. Mm-hmm. Like saying, Columbia House. I was, I, I, was taping on, yeah, well, I was taping off the radio. I was in. T- I, I've collected thing. TV guides, yo. <laughs> I just, who knew where been. this shit was about to go? Columbia House is the Columbia House and BMG. Yeah, BMG. So, yeah. Ran you, it up. You dreamt of a day where you answer your phone and could look at the dude on the other side. Like, you dreamt of that back then. So, it's here now. That's but Jetson shit to us. What is, yeah, and that was the Jetsons. If you look at the Jetsons now, that shit don't, don't look so futuristic. No, shit, mm-hmm. terrible. Mm-hmm. And well, that's the screen the thing. come down, you can see who you're I talking get, to. That's Jetson I shit. Get, I get from what Ish is saying, that cultural bonding shit that he talking about is just cultural shit around the board when it comes to experience. So mass consumption doesn't really equate to that. How do you get a best friend if you can't go outside? They do. Listen, to, they listen do. to my question. They, they On the actually, internet, ingest, they actually do. Ingest my question. How the fuck do you get friends, best friends and close friends, if you can't go outside? You don't see Instagram, that green circle? You can, that's your close friend right there. they are not friends. I'm playing with you. So no, but I'm no. Playing. So that's my thing. Like, you I'm experience. No, no, I can't, but, I can't roll with can't that. Say that. Yeah, I can't roll yeah. with that. I've seen I've, some. I've, I've met quality. I've made, yeah, yeah, I've made yeah, friends. I've made from real relationships yes, yes. from online. Yes. 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 Got you. And and, so, and we was there when yeah. that was taboo. That, you had, uh, yeah, you was a lie. weirdo for that. You had to lie yeah, down yeah, meet the girl online. Look, Word is wrong. You could not tell nobody you met this chick online. No, I did. But think about this, though. Now, you meet this dude online. Y'all hanging out. Y'all cool. You really don't know this nigga's moral compass. And then when you get your ass put by three niggas and he takes off running, when you get when you grow up with somebody, you know who the sucker that's going to run. You know the but niggas how do you that's know? Gonna, but experience. You ran, but I'm just experience. saying. It's just, but it's, it's, it's experience at a different but level. But I experienced some of these kids since I grew up with them. But listen, what, listen to what you're saying. You're right. You get into it. If three of us got into it and you, I take off running, right? Mm-hmm. At that moment, you know ice ain't built for that. Mm-hmm. If don't matter how we met, we twenty five. Uh, just hear me out. Just hear me out. We meet on the internet, all three of us. Mm-hmm. Link up. We cool. We mm-hmm. go to the spot. We doing this, that, and the third. And the same shit happens. And the same person take off running. You it's, it's a, you're still getting the experience. You are correct. It's just at a different because the times have changed. You are correct. There's more factors involved. And I, listen, so this is what I'm all up. Time me, out, Jim. No, y'all go back. But let me just understand. Y'all niggas that link with three people from the internet. Nah, this yeah. should be like a cap. Of no. internet people allowed to meet up at so once. The difference ahead. is not the times. Ice, you 38 years old. 31. You, you grew up in an era <laughs> when that wasn't an option for you. You what? grew up in an era where being outside is how you met friends. Nigga, I, you act like I've lived in a house. I went to school. I had met friends Hold in on, school. Let ish. Me That's what I'm saying. You let still were finish, leaving please. the crib. You know, it's mad kids out there without friends right now. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. That too, because they don't, because no they don't come too. outside. I don't even think it's just that. But what I'm saying is this. So our conversation was about hip hop and mm-hmm. how ICE receive hip hop versus how we receive hip hop. And we have a million things to get to. So. We do. Yeah, yeah, no, we do. so so that's what I was saying. Like outside, some shit you got it from being outside, the feeling, the 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 emotion and all that shit. People saying, yo, you can you can experience emotion in your house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could. It's, I just think it's different. It is. It. I'm agree. We're in agreement there. Shit, it is a if difference. You had, if you had my big brother. You could feel emotion in that house. <laughs> oh, shit. There's a difference. Hey, I thought mommy but, said you was making dinner tonight, nigga. Hey, 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 ish. The hell? Ish. It is a difference. 
all I'm saying is the way you just because you experience it one way doesn't I don't have it don't to do invalidate it. your experience. That, that's all I kept trying to tell you, and you were saying the opposite. Yes, it do because you didn't live this, you didn't feel these lyrics. No, what he's saying to you is, well, yeah, you have a great credit score, but you also have no credit history. <laughs> or yeah, like the niggas that feel the little Chicago niggas that feel dirt music. Right. You don't think they feel it different than you? Absolutely. That's my point. But I said the same shit. I'm. We're, we are so in the, agreement. So now I'm gonna take back my stance. I think Ice would they're, love to feel it. They're bullet, feeling. Bullet, yeah, I don't want to feel bullet, that bullet shit. Free are you crazy? And shoot out Yo, free. Yeah. So let me. I'm gonna take back what I just. That's said. That's why they like being in the house. Yeah. Yes, I nigga. Think, I think we'll they sleep the shit in the house. The shit that they feel is more relevant than your feelings. It. That's my opinion. That's my Ish. opinion. And the response to that is, they are in the minority to the niggas that's in the house today consuming hip hop. <laughs> and what's going to happen the, when the people that are outside talking that shit that you talk about? Yeah, the, the outside niggas like that. The numbers getting smaller and smaller. That's and smaller. why hip hop is a joke because there are no more rappers. Everybody is what they are, and the spectators are just in the house watching y'all. So it up. <laughs> yeah, that's corny, yo. That's corny. That noise? That's something. Parts trash. <laughs> there we go. Look at his show. You can do anything you put your mind to. Fucking you can do anything you put your mind to. You, put your mind to. you really help. A good hood anomaly for real. Says that. A compliment says that. Nice, you can't can't compliment it. Uh, All right, let's intro this, Joe. Come on, man. Mike Miggity Miggity Miggity. Let's get to it. I'm still on. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Off mic, tear ya. What'd you say? I tear ya. It's up in a, a amp battle. Your amp wasn't that hot the other day, yo. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, though. <laughs> that, 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 yeah, yo, go ahead. God damn. Now nah, you got me. You got me with that new shit, All right, boy. Please expand. I know. I was listening to you the other day. I was please. saying, yo, you need please. some help. Maybe because maybe, maybe he was on the island, you know, yeah, a little well, vacay. Yeah, First yeah. of Wi-Fi all, shout been out the W A M P gang. You already know the fucking vibe. You already know what we on. You have me. Ish. Rum Ish. your margarita or something. <laughs> What's going on with this now, guy? Nah, you, you you just intro the pod, so it bought me. So back. you ain't you ain't like my you ain't like how I was giving it up. It was alright. Like, well, it wasn't that though. Yeah, yeah. It was like, using your car listing like damn, I could I could do better than I him. I text you and said, yo, you need some help. Let me know. Remember? Damn. I didn't see your text on yeah, vacation. Did. Well, vacation yo. You were you I didn't asked. see it. I know. That was no some. That was somebody sleep. else. <laughs> nah, shorty had the phone. That wasn't even. I think I'm reading your text on vacation. Mm-hmm. See, but you wasn't in the vibe I was in. Though. I wasn't outside. You wasn't. I wasn't outside with the you wind knew breeze. You was building a house, trees. sweating, right. talking to your staff, that might workers. Right. Hey, that. did you get the wrench from up the... <laughs> so whatever the fuck y'all be saying in contractor world. You got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now I'm going to crack your muffin Please, on Monday. Monday, Yo, yeah, yeah. Yo, hey, each and every month. Hold up, man. Hey, hold up, man. Hold up. Hold on, hold on. He's pissing me off. Bring my record back. <laughs> Each and every Monday, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Some of y'all already know what I do. Some don't, like this like this gentleman right here. Like this brother. First of all, what's the problem in the black community right here? <laughs> Mike check, one, two, one, two. Fresh from vacay, skin peeling and all. What up, though? Some people came through with their album. <laughs> Shake, Shake happens to be one of them. Thank you very much. Talk about growth and progression from project to project. Shout out to 070 Shake. <laughs> nah, it's really him, yo. Hold up. <laughs> that shit got Joe. I'm here away. today, yo. Huh? I said that comment got you feeling away. It's talking shit like that. And now, yo, can a dog can, can a dog bark at the moon? It can. <laughs> Does, oh not know? Does, does the moon care? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Is that? I'm mooning on issues, little <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, we got shit to get to. I also think we have a guest today. Hey, Sniper Hall of Fame. Any day you want to see me, ish. Any day. I don't hear from you unless it's pod day. That let me know who I be. I don't hear from you. I don't see you. You know where I live. Yeah, you know I mean, you can pull up at any time and get smoked. What was that little line I said before the uh, pod started? Uh, oh, I'm loyal when I piece it up. I'm loyal to the piece up. Loyal to the piece up, yo. 
Microphone check, one, two, what is this? What's up, Daddy? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's Welcome to episode, I don't remember. 539, I think? Welcome to episode 539 yeah. of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm Joe Budden. Hi to everybody out there. How are you? <laughs> hey, Joe. Hope everybody had an amazing week. Uh... Hope everyone is kind, well, They're not. healthy, mm-hmm. wealthy, or stable at least. Hope everyone's mental health is great out there. Uh, I hope uh, niggas that owe y'all money pay it back. <laughs> I hope they pay it back this week. You might get that call. <laughs> that call will brighten your Probably day. Probably not. <laughs> but you yeah. might get it. You might You might get it. Yeah, uh, what, else? what else? What uh, else? I hope, I hope shorty that you're still thinking about. I hope that she might send that text this weekend when it's nice out. She won't. Got a she nice. Hey, you she, just don't. She linking and drinking, bro. Life is nothing without hope, <laughs> you guys. That's true. You could hope that these things happen. Yeah. So I want to wish well wishes to everyone. How many times someone owed you money and they called you? <laughs> it's a few happened. times. It's happened. A few times. It's rare. It's rare. It's, it's rare though. It's rare. A, it's a few happened. times for me. I know a few real niggas. I know a few, I know a lot of y'all that ain't. <laughs> oh, no, and I'm here to talk about it. <laughs> and I'm here to talk about it. We're going to address some shit today. Uh, how was everyone's week? Marvelous. Vacation, huh? Marvelous. Time off. Stay, time off. Staycation. Round of applause Stay-cation. for time off. Staycation. Stayed right here. Chill out. Shit. Yeah, it was hot. AC on. Yeah, it was Chill. Did some grilling, though. It don't count mean? if it stays. It's called no, staycation, it counts. not vacation. No, 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 that shit counts. count more than a vacation sometimes. Yeah. The staycation is Man, lit. And that piece, just, that count, bro. Fuck that. Wife was out of town, so it was super quiet. Oh. You won. I won. <laughs> I, won. won. I won staycation, yeah. Yeah, you won. Well, okay. What'd you do, Ish? I was sick, so I was in the house. But I'm going to take my feet being in some blue water over staying my ass at home any day of the week. We'll I got see, some uh, outside, that's why. Yeah, what I kind of that. sick was you, man? I got the little test upstairs. We got to swap you down. Nah, I got one. Nah, <laughs> you Gucci, though? Everything cool. good? Everything. Just, just, a little, looking like just a little bad salmon or something? You got any STDs? <laughs> Never in my life. I don't have those swaps. <laughs> <laughs> what you do? A little Q-tip to tell them. <laughs> a little Q-tip right at the edge you get it done. I'm glad I never had to get that one. Uh, oh, is it pussy in there? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Listen, no, everybody didn't wake I, up and piss right. Nah, it's fine. Nah, yeah, some niggas woke and up. And shout out to y'all. I still want y'all to listen to podcasts, too. <laughs> like, I, 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 don't, you. I don't come in and discriminate against no. Hey, nah. Mighty, just a don't couple. Don't hit the clinic, man. One little pill, knock that thing right yeah, out. Yeah, listen. <laughs> hey, I know how I be. She was fine, right? I'm going to a shot. Huh? It's a pill now? She was fine enough yeah, to make you say, no, man. she's taking care of herself. Come on. I'm just glad I never lived to the era where you had to get swabbed. Huh? Yeah. They used to have to go yeah. down yeah. the... The, what? the hole when it was only a certain way to Q-tip. take some of these tests. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Shout to evolution. Yeah, man. yeah. 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 Science, oh, man. Man. Shout, shout to my ignorance. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know nothing about that. Q tip. That what? Yo, you you did that before? Did what? Somebody put a Q tip in your. Yeah, you know I mean, no, nigga. Oh, you I don't know if you got an STD if you never go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. I'm not going to fuck out. No one when she <laughs> when she find out. Yeah, yeah. Don't talk over yeah, there. I ain't, yeah. I ain't cheap the last six months. Yo, you good? Go ahead. All right, there we. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you straight, right? This is for comedic <laughs> oh, relief, shit. yo. Don't get tested. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, be safe. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, yo, that's, no, that's, 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 that's a good thing. That's a lot they say. Oh, they say. Yo, hood niggas. Well, you, you should know your status. You should know your status. Okay. I'm kidding. The problem is they take me for real. Yeah, know your status. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah. Fuck clean chicks. <laughs> yo, dog hood minister. Yo, Ice is so cute, yo. Oh man, one day we I'ma start my pot so <laughs> What the fuck I do? Yo, some of that shit you had coming through Totoro was a mess, yo. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. Nigga, some of the shit a lot of niggas had coming through Totoro was a mess. I know, which is why everybody keep their shit a little secret. You're my little yeah, nigga. secret. Yeah, no, I seen it. Everyone threw their dick in the dirt at some point, man. <laughs> hey! <laughs> See, that's where we gotta kinda draw a little line. Sorry. <laughs> no. 
That's not true for everybody. <laughs> Ice <is> fuck. <laughs> no, because it's, it's some shit. Joel sit there and say, nah, I ain't fuck her. 1,000. Yes. But, but, yes. but prior to, be like, there was one in particular that you was sitting there, yo, yo, yeah, I'm going to go up here and take her and this, this, this. And then after, nah, I ain't fuck her. I got no way of knowing yo, if you're lying or not. I keep trying to put that one by. I, yo, I, I know what you're talking about. Yo, stop, yo. Phil, yo, stop, I was... Yo. You, That's how you know my jersey is up there, yo. You, you said that. Stop. You, you said stop. that to me. You have to stop that. You asked me to take the front so you could... You know what's funny about that? Because when I say to him, if we on Patreon, what the hell is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> yo, let's you started it. Nah, because you, you know what's funny about that? When I say, yo... Call that girl, like the girl will tell you that that's bullshit. Niggas always well, she say. she just hold it down. Niggas always say that right there. But there's been other instances where the girl said you popped and you said you didn't. I don't know of them. Mm. Normally when they lie on you, it's not to you. <laughs> it's to you who's trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know they lie to it. Yo, I don't even want to be a fly on your phone wall. <laughs> that nigga, he's. Listen, what y'all want to talk about, man? Where we at? Where we at with this? Where where are we at? Well, you want to start with music? What? What's up? I'm asking. I don't know what big album came out today. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Big album came out. One of the big. I mean, we missed a lot of news with the day off. Ah, right. right. We missed a lot of news. There's plenty that we have to cover. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you don't want to start with music, it's fine. We don't have to. I could put like the little effect on your voice and make you sound like a yeah. uh, a lamb too, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you can try anything to keep from starting with music, huh? Let's start music. Clarice. Come on, go ahead, man. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, dog. The twelve carat toothache is out. I know a lot of y'all don't even know that, but yeah, Post Malone's album dropped. Oh, it was like a, it was a secret album. No, Aaron Ray <laughs> album in store in your phone too right now. <laughs> Drop. Aaron I Ray. mean, and that shit I Aaron, too. Aaron, that shit it's I. Aaron Ray. I got through about three. Five, five, six oh, songs. Go ahead, yo. Get your shit off, yo. Because <laughs> no, I'm ahead. not gonna interrupt y'all. No, okay, this, no, yeah. I can't suppress no podcaster's thoughts. Clearly, I don't have thoughts. I'm just saying that it, no parks. It wasn't a secret album. Uh, it was announced. Uh, it was a, supposedly a big single. Do y'all even know Posty? No, no, no. no. You know him, you want to call him and ask him what happened? But what happened with what? Sometimes the label be right. <laughs> Damn. Yo. Yo. It's fuck. gonna grow on you? Yeah. Uh, that was fucked up. It can't grow on you? Huh? It don't happen. You know why I don't fuck with Parks? Why? <laughs> well, let me tell you. Honestly. I'm listening, I wanna know. <laughs> Because he won't turn, turn the air on? Oh, yeah, it is Africa. <laughs> that that's why I don't fuck that's, with him. Well, that's why. I'm going to be the sweat. I'm getting pink in this motherfucker, yo. <laughs> no, you just pink, nigga. <laughs> I'm turning yo. purple there. No, I don't fuck with Parks because he don't have that same uh, venom. He's not that same honest venom when it's backpacker time, to be honest. No, no, I can't do that. Cause he killed he killed that Black Star album like Quake. he was supposed to. Quick yeah. too, he did. He <laughs> that did. Quick, we had to remind him. No, we I did remind no, him. No, we made him say it on air, but immediate. Oh, that's what you getting at. And now this is just <laughs> top of the list because Posty. <laughs> but, you know I mean, but Post Malone is news. This Fucking is, yeah, this the is Post Malone. Star is not not even on yeah. DSPs. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers even hear that shit. <laughs> it's just, like, it's just on one app. All right, this fine, man, fine. Fine. You caping for your guy? I'm asking. It's okay if you are. There's nothing wrong with that. I cape for mine. It's a joint on here. <laughs> How many problem, songs on there, Alex? Roll down. <laughs> the problem is, it's 14. No, nah, it might be two joints. It might be two joints. It's on. one and a half, at least. Yeah, it's with at least one in the pop, and yeah. I'll get the board. If you, you got a good partner, board, you might make bored. If you got about, one in the pop, hey, yo, fam, I was about to say one in the possible. Y'all shot. One, <laughs> no, <laughs> one, one, no, you're one in the pop with my two in the pop. We might can make bored. Yeah, that's bored. But where's the two in the pop coming from? It's thirteen books. He got fourteen songs. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is going on here, bro? Y'all don't allow artists <laughs> grace ever either, yo. That's another thing about y'all that, that I don't be liking, yo. Like, why somebody got to hit every time at bat? 
Aaron Judge leading the league in like fucking game winning grand slams or home runs. Something stupid. Yeah, they're bugging the Yankees. Wild. Boy, did y'all. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. And they let Joe Girardi go from the uh, Phillies. Anyway, um, what so am I saying? So, so you said you don't have to hit it out the park. Every, yeah, every time. like, but he's going to go up there and strike out sometimes, man. And they had no promotion. He had no label support. They might have shrunk his budgets. He's busy doing some other shit. Pam, this stop, shit ain't stop. good. Stop, bro. Stop. stop. You got to stop. Let's just let's just look, you gotta let's stop. just look at the features. He's still him, though. You got Roddy. He's you got Doja Cat. The weekend. Stop Gunna. it, yo. Uh, no, no. Let's just stick with those three for a second. Not, nothing against Gunner. You have Roddy Rich, Doja Cat, and The Weeknd, which are arguably this is a festival headliner. Yo, you making project. me mad, yo. <laughs> like I gotta yo, be honest. Let's you're not the, supposed to fuck up a Doja slide today. You're not supposed to fuck that up. I like Sorry. the weekend record. Yo, y'all going to make me cape in a way I don't want to cape. Just the great potter in me is just going to jump out. Yeah. No, well, you're going to do that anyway. <laughs> Ice, if you have a Doja feature right this second, mm -hmm. how does it go? Ice is not Post Malone, Joe. So then I won't allow him to say, yo, you ain't supposed that fuck up a Doja feature. Get the fuck out of here. He's saying it's... Post Malone is not. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm, and I'm saying that Doja Cat like Post Malone once was, is a label darling A++ plus plus Correct. position at the label. So, yeah, I'm sure that when things were mer merrier, <laughs> there were plans for that. That tells you that. But guess what? A phone call got made. Somebody said something they shouldn't have said. Somebody asked for too much. Somebody said, I'm out. Fuck, it went bad. Mm -mm. And now your single with your hit is going to sit in the fucking dust. He ain't the first let's, one let's, to fall let's, victim to let's that. Let's take it off of that. Yo, but I, I told you, the single was the record featuring The weekend. No, but bigger Start than that. Start there. But Look, we were saying this about just, The weekend before Post was even coming. I'm just saying that you could see that there's something at play here. They're it's, stepping it's, it's, on niggas' releases. Absolutely. Hey, yo, y'all bugging. Because the release ain't all that. No, no. Well, either, look, either I all just right, don't know. Right, hold, hold, no, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now y'all sound like I'm caping now, and I don't yeah, want to no, do no, that. Hold on, because y'all making me mad. Hold on, hold on. If you are the label, y'all are the label, and that's why I hate this side of the room. If y'all are the label, let's talk for real. Let's do it. And I'm y'all artist. Yeah. And for four albums, I have hit that shit 600 feet out. True. And now I went and made some mitt. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But y'all heard it first. Mm -hmm. Y'all are hearing it first. Y'all yeah. don't believe in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all don't believe in it. No. It's not good. Uh -huh. Okay. Y'all are right. Yeah. Gotcha. What are y'all doing in that position? Y'all go back to the lab and cook another one. And you can't and you and you, and you can't come out until you until we think you have one. Yeah. Same for you. No, let me ask you a question. No, and you didn't answer mine yet. No, I'm. A, I'm. A Is it the same one. as what Park I'm said? I like that. I like the answer. I'm in agreement answer. with him. I said yeah. that. You're not See, there I yet, think bro. that's wild. So let me ask you this now. Labels do you, that though. Let me ask you. I know, you this. but it's wild when they do, and the artists speak up every time. Why you that's think that's what the fuck Meek just said? Why yeah. you think that's wild? Meek just because Meek just said. Yo. Smurda said it. Everybody said, said it. Said you can't that. Do that, Joe. The problem is the the artists are now knowing. This ain't like back in the day. Some of these artists know what they are making for you. Mm -hmm. Some of them do. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. So Meek says, "Yo, I gave you four albums." I made you fucking X amount of however many hundreds or whatever. So? I brought y'all Roddy. This is what he said. Remember right, we talked about right, all of that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the label says, no what? Yeah, that's what you, <laughs> that, that is, uh, welcome to the label. Yeah, but I just What don't. have you done for me lately? That's, no, no, no. That, that's I, I'm, I can't argue with y'all because y'all are right. The label does that. I just that, don't think it's business. right when that happens. Yeah, you, you, you cheating. Know why? Because this is what you be doing. You'll flip-flop contingent upon where you are in that, in that, in that food chain. If me and Ice came up here and we potted our asses off for six months, and then me and Ice felt like, yo, we did a good job six months of potting, but now we're going to give you some bullshit for a month, two, three months. That's not okay with you. You can't say, yo, y'all had a run for a year, now it's cool, but now y'all could give me mid when y'all feel like giving me mid and look back and say, yo, but we bust our ass for a year. You can't say that. Can I respond to that directly? Absolutely. How many mid episodes do you think I think you and Ice have delivered in a year. A bunch. But you would be guessing, right? Yeah. No, but stop, 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 stop. Go ahead. But you would be guessing because you don't know, right? True. And you don't know because I've never said, True. right? Now, what I can say is this. Hold up. Let me finish. That's and I say, and there's oh, mad reasons why let that. Let me go. Oh, go it's ahead. different with you and the label. 
because with the label, they have zero to do with his. Or well, let me take that back because I don't know that to be true. Absolutely. If me, you're on a better ice, example would be wait. me saying, "Yo, whatever y'all want to talk about in the pod, send it to me first. Let me see it." And then saying no. Yeah. True. Mm-hmm. All right. With and him, would I ever do that? <laughs> no, but no. No. Because you think that we could create whatever out of any topic. Cool. What I'm saying now is with him. Well, and y'all, y'all own men. So no, I ain't no, going to say, hey, yo, even though you feel like that, don't say that here. But like, no, with <laughs> him, it's a product that you're trying to sell. As is he. True. He didn't go in there trying to make something that wouldn't sell. He tried. Cool. And I appreciate that. And this is where my... And there are artists that go in and do the fluff bullshit. I'm not trying. The fans are going to get some bullshit and sell it how you want. And that's the end of my contract. True. He did go in and try. So don't It say, wasn't good. You're right. So you can't say that. He might have did that. His slap with Doja uh, yo, is I told y'all. based on the label. Because even if the label didn't market your product accordingly, even if they didn't put the budget behind your shit like they should have, you are an artist. And you have... A level features on your shit. Y'all could get in there and creatively get busy, regardless of your marketing budget. And it and when the world hears it, they like, oh that is, shit, that is false. There is certainly a that possibility. Way, stop, 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 that's that's why I was stop, gonna say like I'm caving. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I disagree with that because people have to know that that is false. And you're getting more and more artists to come out and tell you, and managers and behind the scenes mm-hmm. execs mm-hmm. to come mm-hmm. out and tell you just how much it costs to get a record going mm-hmm. and to continue a record to go. So yeah, you did that on the creative side. It's you right. He he got with Doja. You you a top act. I'm a top act. We put it together. Guess what? If that label don't think that this is it, mm-hmm. not, not spinning to put that nowhere. True. And then niggas on sitting on the couch gonna say, "Yo, how you get with Doja and fail?" My God, mad easy to get with Doja and fail. If the people at the top don't believe and they ain't fucking with it, wouldn't give me a release date. I went and had to stomp my feet. And clearly. Before this Post Malone talk, I was on this point. You said it. Artists are going through something with with labels. It's true. A lot it's of getting sure. worse. And they're more, more of them coming out yeah. talking about it. So it's getting bad. It's like iron in me even being the guy to deliver that message. It's getting <laughs> no, but the crazy bad part to there. me is, yo, you're talking about business versus creativity. So We have to, right? I, no, listen. I heard your point. I'm saying this. If the label didn't put no money behind your shit, mm. zero. Then you fail. I'm not... See, now you're talking about business. I'm talking about creativity. Even if the label didn't put no money behind your shit, uh-huh. and me and you put out a dope-ass project, mm-hmm. once niggas start to hear Stop the right project... There. Stop right there. Real quick. Let, let, quick. Him, fin- let okay. him finish, okay. let okay. Him finish okay. his point. Okay. Once finish niggas point. start to hear the project, they like, oh, shit, it's some shit on there. Y'all never heard some shit and was like, damn, it's some shit on there. They write down what... Hold on, hold on, They, hold on, they write hold on, down hold on, the sales wait, wait, that the they label, think word of mouth will bring let, you back. Let them finish the so that I can respond to that. The label can't tell me what I'm going to like once I finally hear it. But uh, now, it might not get to my plate. Uh, That's what I was getting ready to say. But the label don't make y'all, who are avid music listeners, listen to this nigga's album and say it is mid. But the ish, label can't do that. Ish, ish. Hear me out real quick. <laughs> Today... A lot of people live based off of playlists and algorithms and all that bullshit. Yes. Mm-hmm. That is directly funded by labels. Indeed. For sure. So there's a lot of people that... Hold on. Let, just just give, just, give, just give me a second. Give me a second. There's a lot of people that will sit there and say, oh, ain't nobody talking about this. Like, people are waiting to be told what to like today. That is true. But I do think in this conversation with the people in this well, room, us, yes. we this have fucking room. ears so we can listen exactly. to that Doja record and say, exactly. this should have been and delivered. That, that is my they point. Didn't, they didn't I'm deliver agree, like I'm they can. I'm talking deliver. about something that I didn't talk about. I'm agreeing I'm with talking that. about, yo, if you are a creative and you are an artist, by the time, the label could suppress your shit. But by the time it's heard, if it's good music and a good product mm-hmm. and a good project, then I think that people that hear it that are quote unquote critical now, I will cape for uh, Posty and say that I do think that there's a high possibility that he was unhappy with the label and get, this could turned, be in some, turned in the, this the, could the B-sides. The B-sides. The fuck you album. I call it the fuck you album. And when I say the fuck you album, I don't mean it's like fuck you to the label. It's just, yo, if we ain't at a... I'm not going to put my best work out if fuck me you. and you ain't on the same page. Because yeah. I do too. think that Post and uh, Louis Bell, his producer, are too talented to have thought that this is the thing. Like not for nothing, I started to think another big release that just happened was was may have been a fuck you album. Just not which fuck one, you. Kendrick. The more I listen to that album, it, it it kind of feels like he just was on some. This is what I'm doing. I know we're done here. 
I'm going to put this out. Y'all do what you want to do with it. I'm leaving. I'm not supporting. I'm not doing interviews. I'm not doing nothing. And I think all of that plays into the low number. Like how the label could step on it and lower your number. I think Kendrick stepped on it and lowered the number. This is my way out. I'm done. I don't care what happens with this. I'm going to give y'all a part off my author. Y'all got theories today. I don't disagree with his theory on that. <laughs> no, he's he trying to cook. I don't disagree with his theory on that. Like when I look, the more I look at this album, I'm and we like, talked about that briefly on Patreon. It's just, uh, it's, yo, I'm, I'm, why the numbers were low? This the fuck you album. Yeah. I mean, I won't argue with Parks' original point, and I don't want to drag on an argument for the sake of doing it. If your music is trash, I agree with the label not putting it. Not putting it out. I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. I also, so now I, I also out, think that when you have done a considerable amount and outperformed your contract, that a certain grace. Should be extended. I agree with that as well. I don't. I don't think that the two could be mutual. Yo, you know what the problem in music is, yo. And I hate to conflate issues, but uh -huh. fuck it. The problem is there really are only about if we being serious six artists that call their own shot. <laughs> well, on, a, on labels, yeah. That's what I'm talking. Yeah, about. that's what I'm talking. About. And I will say this, like. um you know, that, I, that's not, I would, that's the, not wild when the, you think the, about how many artists are on labels. The only thing about the uh, the argument that you just made about um, the label giving them grace is I could see if he made a super, he wanted to make a fucking acoustic guitar album. And the label's like, nah, we're not doing that. Yo, in those up, situations, I say grant the great. Or they should grant the, the, the post last album while Parks go. My bad. But he made an album in the same vein as his other albums. It's just not as good. Like... I can see if he wanted to if do something different, the label's like, eh, nah, in, you're in this lane. You can't go over here. If it's in the same vein, it certainly is a different lane. No doubt. 480, 480, <laughs> Joe, 489. It's, first it's blue blood. No, no, no. <laughs> Life of the Project yeah. for, for Hollywood's Bleeding by Post Malone. Multiplatinum. I'm sure. Multiplatinum. But I just want to see. I just want to see. I got you. Just go to his discography. It'll yeah. show it. Listen, man, it's not good. No. It's not good. No. Or it's not his best. It sounds like a fuck you album. Like I said, I think that he, that him and his partner are too talented to have made this twice. album thinking that it's as good as his last albums. I do. Well, that's why I have a, a, a new... I have a, I have a... I had a problem with a lot of shit. Let me address you today. Like, I got a problem when these niggas come tell me about all the label issues and then we never hear nothing again. Mm. I don't like that. Keep it to your fucking self if you're not going to offer the solution. Mm. Just come venting. What you mean? We always hear about what both sides, okay. even though it's more from the artist. From the artist. Gotcha. But it's more from the artist. Yeah. No, it's the label got their own tricks. They just mask it like label shit. But more, we more so hear from the artist directly. They're not in a position to really fix it. Yo, oh, it yo. always gets fixed. But it might not so, be, it it might not be, not be to their best it, interest. No, no. It, but it gets resolved. Let me not say fixed. Resolution is different. It gets fixed, resolved. Yeah. Then offer the resolution. Or settlement. Or settlement. Yes, I was going to say, then, usually then, just be then, a settlement. Then offer, offer that. Offer whatever that is. Because if you don't do that, then now we just left to assume shit like this. Post and his, and his manager said something was going on. Mm -hmm. They won't let us put this out. When they said that. we've been the album's Then done, they came back and out. said, we got a date. We mm -hmm. Gucci. But if we Gucci don't mean we Gucci, then don't fucking lie to me as a fucking consumer. Tell me what it is. Man, right. this is business. They got business to them. They gotta act like man. It's Gucci. No, I'm with being a savvy consumer. I'm with that. There was a time where when Fifty was going up there reading the sound scans, it's like, oh, the fans ain't supposed to know the sound scan. Oh no, let some of them get smart now. Let some of them get smart. I like that. Yeah, fans are becoming more informed. You can't just. Put everything in the phone, knock down studios, mega, mega stores, and everything else, and then say, hey, fans, be as stupid as you were 15 or 20 years ago. No, no, I ain't buying this shit. So why Netflix going through what they're going through? Oh, wait, you're doing that? Wait, worry, no more big budget? Wait, what? Oh, you raise the price? Oh, you adding ads? Wait, what? Oh, no. Inflation the fuck up everywhere. It's tough to live. And we just about to be, we just about to do that with entertainment? No, sus, nigga. I ain't subscribed to That's what I did with my vacations. I'm unsubscribed to all the bullshit I'm subscribed to. <laughs> you finally left them? Huh? You left them? Not yet. Not them. Okay. Not them. But they're next. They're next. They're next on the list. I think, I think niggas just be playing nice. Yeah. Because you got to think about your next deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just burn the bridge because you got to have some level of professionalism. But on to the next project. Man, these niggas the still next, looking at it like, yo, no matter how bad this shit situation is, I still need this label. But I need to keep, 
I need the label. I need to keep my I'm signed here. Composure. Yeah. Like that it's not many artists that'll jump out there like you will. Yeah. Hollywood. A lot bleeding. of these niggas are gonna play their position. Like, all right, I I I learned I'll shut the fuck up. Hollywood bleeding three times platinum domestically. I'm pretty sure. Probably domestic. Yeah, probably usually. Domestic. yeah no, that's no no. Is no, it no, RIAA? No. Yeah. yeah, that's domestic then. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. To, to, worldwide total. Look at, it should say the other ones right there. All them other API, whatever the fuck. All right. That's Australia. No, that's the highest one. Yeah, because there's not as many people in Australia and uh, Europe and. Well, the game Europe, would change but... even if more artists had just sole control of their international rights. <laughs> 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 they keep tricking you with what you sold over here. Now, well, that's sold over there. Word. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas is tricky. Uh, and it's all right. Like, it's not like you need shipping no more. These guys. Are <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These like back are... in the day, it'd be like, yeah, you, you sold double platinum in England, but we had to ship all this shit over there. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's how they got them. That's how they got him. <laughs> Enough time on something that, in all of our opinions, underperformed. I do think that Posty will be back. I think so, too. Yeah, I do. Um, Shake. Shake delivered now. Shake. 070 Shake. You can't kill me. Wow. That shit is fine. It's really good. It is. It's really good. You guys aren't familiar? <laughs> At all. Oh, okay. Nah. She was on a bunch of uh, Kanye stuff. That's kind of how I she know the name, but I'm not familiar with any music. Uh, don't get everything in that house, huh? Mass, <laughs> <laughs> mass consumption. I get, I, get, I get what I want. I get what I, get what I need. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't find its way on my... Uh... Shake is fire. This is her second album, right? Yes. Officially, at least. I don't know if she had like mixtapes or whatever before, but... Yeah. So I don't have no deep that. dive because I didn't... Listen to every single second of it yet, but y'all are both in agreement that this is like Mike Dean is him also. So, yeah. okay. Mike Dean is him. Got gotcha. you. Wait, shut up. Is this Mike Dean? He's always doing shake shit. Yeah, I'll Mike Dean. Synth guitars, mixing. <laughs> the Mike Dean package, the good one. <laughs> why no, sh- why are you shaking your head, yo? <laughs> He's him. Wow. <laughs> I put this I put this shit on in the shower. And I'm like, wow, what a dramatic what a dramatic step from album one to album two to really step into like your vibe and sound and my favorite songs from your first project. And you killing all of this, there's a sound. She has a sound. And she it's does. labeled alternative. And and she has other producers too, so I don't want to uh discredit them. I don't know their names off the top of my head. Well, I I credit it to the artist, so I'm crediting yeah, her. Yeah, she produced a couple of these. I'm yeah. crediting her. But the ability for Mike Dean to say, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> let's go in, mad times. Mm-hmm. That says um, And they smoked this. Oh, no, no, this makes all sense in the world now. Yeah. He did the last one, too. I think, you know. I didn't love the last one like I love this one. Really? You like this better than the first one? Yeah, yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes. But that's what I mean. She leaned a little more into my favorite spots on the first one. Gotcha. The first one for me felt like she hit a, hit hit a, hit a bunch out the park, but she was still trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Don't you love this? That sounds thing? figured out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't you love that? Like the shit that I liked from the last album, I'm getting more of that on the yeah, new one. Yeah, yeah. That's all Chris Man. Brown about. This that's all Chris Brown about to go but do. By the way, in oh, case yeah. nobody knew. Oh yeah, just in case I can tell y'all about features. I can tell Man, y'all about his haircut. I heard a snippet. <laughs> the, the him and little baby record. I said, oh yep. We up there, but then I, don't happening. you think that's creative control that the label starts to give a little bit to the artist? It's new artist. Yeah, I'm about to say it could brand just new be, It could just be they believe it. new. It could just be they believe. I don't know if she's his artist. I don't. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know their situation. I believe her to be from New Jersey. She is from Jersey, I believe. Hey, oh, and uh, yeah, so I, oh, she is on Def. I was gonna say I don't know if she's signed to any major, but she is on Def Jam. So yeah, but go listen to Shake. Yeah, no, she's fire. No, Shake, Shake, Shake came through. Uh Aaron Ray came through. Damn. Aaron Ray shit. I only heard like half. I, I only heard half as well, but it was enough for me. Mm-hmm. But Aaron Ray is another one of those guys, if you're R&B head, he very rarely misses. He knows how to compose a song. Mm. <laughs> like a good R&B song. Come on, man. Look at this shit. And I got to give credit to D-Smoke. I remember a few years ago, niggas on here kind of smoked D-Smoke a little bit. 
He's uh, been showing up, yo. No, but it was. It, it wasn't. Um, He's been showing up. I've smoked. D smoke is I just dope. Didn't know who it was? The, I was just like the question. The, the the issue, I guess, was that he was Grammy nominated for yeah. an album that a lot of people didn't really yeah. hear, and it was a solid album. But there was albums that were probably better and more. They, they was killing him long before they did. They killed him that entire Netflix rap show. Oh, that he, oh won. he killed that. But he got killed. Did he? He got he got killed purely on the fact of being Sir's brother and a twin. Mm. <laughs> Your brother popped first. And now as a twin. And here you come trying to rap. And now you on some rapidy rap show. Nigga, move. <laughs> That's a tale to that. <laughs> and he was on some black power shit. He was on some positive shit. Yeah. Nigga, move. Uh-huh. Where's your singing brother at? Nah. <laughs> nah, these smoke is dope. But he's been... Aside from him being dope, he's just been organically, or it seems like organically, finding his way to dope shit. So shout out to D Smoke, man. Yeah, he's killing too. And uh, yeah, the Aaron Rich is hard, man. Hey, you know, you know who else delivered? Uh, Vori. Vori. Yes, he did. Vori. Really? Yes. I didn't know he dropped. Yeah. Yes. Vori yeah. delivered. Actually, oh, yeah. another one for me. Dramatic step oh, yeah. from last project to this. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is I it like just Vori. me? Oh, yeah. Nope. Nah, nah, I like the last. Yeah, me too. Yeah, was, but it was but bare. It was, better. it was a it little bare. Yeah, this was better. This was better. It was a little skeleton-y reference It was. It was. It was. Airy. It was. Nah, this 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 one. Right this here. right here. <laughs> nah, this one. This is a little different so, right here. Bro. Oh man, who broke his heart? <laughs> Somebody must have made him mad. Somebody did no, something. No, no. He was, no, he he's yeah. Yeah, nah. I, I, you can sense the you can hear the toxicity in here. Yeah. Listen yeah, to, listen to Shipman Champion. Woo, get him, nigga. Uh, nigga. You want that fuck? You want when it come to music, and it's, this is it's fucked up on us as the fans. But we want to. We don't want your happy music. Y'all hate that they ruin toxicity, yo. Like, what's wrong <laughs> no, with honestly, little... yo? A mild toxicity. As long as you went to cluck you and didn't order the nine one one wings, you might have survived, yo. A little. As long as you're not like nine one one. Yeah, no. Y'all got cluck you in New York? <laughs> no. You never had the nuclear wings? Wait, you, know, they never, you never had Clucky? No, I never heard Clucky. Clucky. You're they had Clucky in New York. They might not have. He wasn't outside. Yeah. Was in so Buffalo in New Jersey, somewhere. Clucky literally is around a bunch of universities. Oh, uh, okay. And they make wings from mile all the way to... Atomic. Make your, yeah. make your eyes burn. Eyes yeah. burn out. You, you don't cry. Like you wings. don't love your family <laughs> wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got you the BGs instantly. Wings, yeah. Yeah. Uh. But they be by most. But of my the thing, yeah, that, you need somewhere where you could go and get a little toxicity. Yo. <laughs> For a lot of people, somehow that's here. I think this is me showing up being reformed. <laughs> 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 they think we in here just being toxic. Yeah, we we'll uh, be toxic. Man. I I don't think so. Nah, not at all. And if we just do, a little bit, of, you know what I mean? A little sprinkle on top, a little, little, little salt baby yeah, with, the toxic, yeah, yeah. with the toxicity. What's your toxic limit today? What you mean? What am I willing like, to give like, as far as toxicity, the, or what am I willing to accept? What's no give give like level ten. Like, I'll speak for me as a reformed, toxic person. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I needed you to go first. So I could yeah, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll go first. That. I'll go first. I'll go first. Yeah. Like, when I was in my 20s and the argument popped off in the car and she said, would say, pull over and let me the fuck out, I'd pull over and let her the fuck out and leave. Wait, <laughs> and leave, dog? That was wrong. <laughs> yes, man. And sorry. Keisha. <laughs> like, we'll pull off. I always want to give someone a my, name. My, my bad. I just my be bad. thinking of the gall of you to start an argument while I'm driving. The <laughs> like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> and wow. you could believe. <laughs> by the way. But anyway, yeah. So today, I would never do that. That oh. sounds like that's laughable. That's laughable today. I think like, my, my, my you would time. never do that today. Of course, you grow up. You evolve. Yeah, yeah, you're not doing So that. I'm saying today, what is your level of... Oh, no. I'm, it's low Mine's today. very low. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go sleep on the couch or go nah. out to the bar, nah. eat by myself. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's the lowest. My I'll, shit is... My, my, that's, that's, my pretty, shit that, that's pretty high. That's pretty high on the sassa meter. Yeah. It's on the petty meter. That's, that's high. That's so? mid on the... Just going Bam, to sleep on I'm going to sleep on the couch. You're not saying goodnight. You're not kissing. You're going, you're sassing, sass, yeah, I'm sassing, sassing sassing off yeah, the couch. Yeah, I'm mad, nigga. Yeah. I'm Come on, that's in. a five. <laughs> I'll take it, though. Oh, that is a five, yo. Go sleep in the fucking bed you purchased like a man. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Ish? The mic is right there. That's a two. You think that that's a two. 
All right, give me give me four. Yo, I don't want to argue. I don't want to kick it. I like we at odds. I don't yeah. feel like fam. You off, could go talk. to sleep in your bed. I don't want to. I mean, and that's why <laughs> it's a five. No, I don't do that, but I just don't think that that's high up there. But it's it's the middle. It's the middle. I think that's the middle. Fam. Depending on how. Yo, Ish, don't make me have a real I, conversation no, like, on this part. Unless you're And 10, I don't like you. Because you've been there too. I'll paint a picture for you. Stop it, yo. Unless you're, you're talking about like today. Disgusting. And your pictures, nigga's going to be way more artistic than mine. I nigga, don't I know. I got a brush, nigga. Fuck you talking about. This is what I'm we saying to you. We can both have abstracts. But, but this is what I'm saying to you. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't get amnesia, nigga. Yeah, but we can both be Bob Ross in here. <laughs> what I'm saying to you is this is why it's a five. Because this could go up and be bad from this point. <laughs> or mm. you could go down and be cool from this point. Getting up and going out is the middle. That's now, shit, leaving, shit has happened like to leave us said, I'm going to the bar yeah, and all I that. Leaving that's is worse, worse than going to sleep on a couch. That's you had, worse. You had a seven. I think you leaving. You had a seven. I would put leaving See, y'all, not, y'all, y'all not standing on nothing. No, I think that when leaving you go Leaving is sleep, what? Leaving is. You stormed out. Stormed out is, is, is. Stop it. Stormed out is leaving. If you leave no, quietly, saying, it's stormed out. No, that's, no, no. that's up there to See, me. That's high. I say That's high as shit. So then what are y'all talking about? You down with me. I just called that a seven. Yeah, but I don't think going to sleep on a couch because I don't want to argue is a five. Yeah, me neither. I think that's no, having I think that's, ma- five. I th- I think I that's having mad them. restraint. I unless think you're, that's unless your ten is shit that we like as men would not do. You know what I mean? There it, are men wait, that would do that. Yo, but it ish. Uh, it okay, is having nice. restraint ish. and mad mature. Like, but yo. but you know that your girl wants you to sleep there, man, so she could throw her leg on you or <laughs> scoot her ass back yeah. or say, hey, babe, do you at least I, understand I, I, where I, I was coming from uh, earlier? Or sleep on the whole other side of the bed. Yeah, just, you yeah know I mean? like you know she want to do that. So as a man, you make the conscious decision, no, fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to the couch. I'm protecting my... How do you I'm not really see that? at? That's turning it up. Because now what's going to happen is this. You think you just went to the couch? You think you just went to the couch and cut your favorite show on and just had a blast? That was the end? Tell me how the rest of the story went. If we all going to sit here and kick it, tell me how that... I'm going to sleep. Hello? Someone calling you? Oh, yeah, I'm just I heard hearing, something. I heard a girl just pop I, up. I I'm sure. paranoid <laughs> now. Fuck this. It's Siri. Yeah, I'm about to say, you got your fucking iPhone or some shit? It's a Houston number two. One of them realtors? <laughs> that I got from where? The gram. You would think you buying a bunch of houses in Houston. <laughs> How you you ain't bought nothing in Houston, yet, right? Not. Just following them all. <laughs> Just in case. A few. Just in case. Get like, pointers. You get just in case, like yeah, Jahan. Yo, if you've ever went to the couch to sleep, back to my point, and I'll close this up. We got shit to get to. If you've ever went to the couch to sleep while your girl was in the other room, I would love for you to tell me how the rest of that night went. <laughs> I think it's a small percentage of y'all that got a good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> See, my shit, my. So but she ain't do nothing original. but stay up. Hey, she ain't do nothing but stay up in the other room telling her homegirl mad loud so you can hear everything. So Fuck this nigga. Start slamming drawers, <laughs> slamming the bathroom door, stomping. She got the broom out fucking banging on, <laughs> banging on shit. Doing shit she ain't never did before. Now she mopping at three in the morning. It's like, yo, what are you doing, dog? Or See, that's when you got she lost. followed you to the living room. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of you men have that story, but you don't get vulnerable. Mm. You tried to have restraint then too. And then she stabbed you. <laughs> oh shit. I was talking about that. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. I'm about to say, we just nah, she turned up on you. No. Yeah. Yo, dog, my mouth goes crazy. Can get crazy. So in my older age, I don't do that no more. This one so they, I walk away. But wait, this one they really get you. No. Yeah, I'm stuck with him. I'm moving. I'm, Cause I'm, I'm not even the guy to kick Ice away. is with me. I'm with him. I'm not the arguer. You No, I am. I'm not. So I'm I not arguing. Not to be you, don't, today. you don't get to walk away. Who don't get to what? You. You do not get to walk. I followed you. <laughs> and I followed you. I followed both of you. Fam. Babe, we can't, go, get, to, we, babe, gets, we can't go to bed like this. I want to talk. No, let's stop. No. If it, listen, I had, a hugger, one, really I had a hugger one time. Right. And, and when the argument got All to right. its peak, <laughs> she would say, hug me. Let's just stop everything and hug. Maybe I'm toxic. Wait, then. what? She was white? No. <laughs> That's some white people. Uh, I, I'm not the one that would know. You better get the fuck out of my face. I'm not the one. Yo, you better get the I fuck out my know face. What, what the white mind. girls would say. In the middle of the art. That's some. Man, get the fuck away from me. Fam, I'm, we here now. Once it gets to argument status, we here. 
cool, stay over there. I'm gonna stay over here. Maybe we could revisit this tomorrow and get some. Oh, now your toxic levels are still high. Y'all yeah, about to yeah, say yeah, yeah, that's yeah. me. That's yeah. me. Yeah. Straight up. Because yo, I'm, y'all I'm, toxic I'm big levels is low. Listen to y'all. I do think it makes me a little bit more toxic. Your toxic levels is high. Personally, I'm not with the arguing shit, especially when we upset. I will not do that shit at all. I'm like, look, yo, we both give me my space. Be in an Let's emotional cool off. state of mind. We don't believe in that. And if you if you continue yeah. to yeah, turn up, she, then if I gotta she leave. tries to piece it up. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. and you're, you still like, you're changing damn. that. You're changing you, you it. You can't talk about no, piece it up. No, no, we're not. Nah. In the middle we're of the talking argument. about. Yeah, we brought up hugging. Y'all said, "Fuck that is up." You said at the peak of the argument, she'll say, "Hug me." Yeah, she's trying to score. Yeah, she's trying to at least bring some love and peace back into the argument. She loves you. Listen, man, go to Y'all sleep. Talk to you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I, we, yeah, we talk about? tomorrow. Just leave me alone Wait, right now. Are you telling women to go to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm asking you a question. I'm, and I'm, I'm telling you. You tell her when it's time. To answer, yo, no. it's time for bed now. No. <laughs> no. No, Cut that light out. No, 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 no narrative hey, painter. Hey, 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 not another peep out of you. Okay. No <laughs> narrative painter. That's not what's happening here, No, he sir. said it. I'm just saying that in that moment, peak of the argument, when you start trying to, we at odds. I don't yeah, don't I look go, to, go in the other. I I'm going over here, tell her, and if it, if you want to continue to follow me, then tell I'm going to do what. Tell I'm her where she. Tell, tell her where she better go though. I'm not telling. Yo, she I'm going go over here. Yeah, you, you better. Nigga, <laughs> 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 hey, that's him. Hey, no, that's him. I'm telling y'all, I don't do none of that shit no more. That's why I asked y'all. I don't and think that, men know their toxic levels, yo. I, yo, I used to, well, yeah, when you asked the question, high. my yeah, toxic yeah. level, yo, my <laughs> toxic level. you willing to take a hug the or the fire, say I love you at the end of it, like before you Bruh, go to bed. Oh, still, I had you that just one can't too. dead the, the argument because you ready to? The girl that wanted you to say I love you to each other at, <laughs> at the end of the argument, yo. No. <laughs> That's the same shit with the hug. No. Yeah, I'm but, not there right this Yeah, second. but when you're in that moment and you feel yourself, you have to, Say the no, you realize how stupid you sound yeah, facts. saying. I could believe And that. it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. Man, my toxicity shit was literally just, you know, when you send a paragraph, I'm going to go find the one line to respond to and ignore everything else. That was it. And that ain't. I can't believe that y'all have never been with the girl to follow you in the next room. I I sh- I'm out of here. I'm leaving this. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out here. I don't got music. We got other shit to get to. Joe, I absolutely have. Yeah, we have. I'm telling you. Thoughts, I'm so. telling you. First off, today, if that were to happen to me, I'm telling you what would happen next. Oh, I'm, I'm you're still... getting arrested. I'm calling the police. <laughs> I'm calling the police today, buddy. They gonna kick you right out your own house. I got to know. This ain't bad. I'll find some way to go. Oh man, listen. Do we have to get to this? Yeah, we have to get yeah. to it. Come on. Young Thug denied Bond for being a threat to uh, threat to the public and risk of witness tampering. And, you know, before we get started with this, and y'all could figure out your take, y'all take as I say this, uh, before we get started with this, watching the prosecutor read lyrics in court to the judge and talk about uh, just how dangerous people are from the lyrics and like actually having to say the lyrics out loud reminded me of another reason that I'm totally against lyrics in court, especially from the prosecutor who just happens to be a white guy. I knew it was going to (laughs) I feel you. It's rhythm, yo. (laughs) His pocket was all off. (laughs) (laughs) He wasn't reading the lyrics on the one. (laughs) The fuck is wrong with him? The sauce. That <laughs> lyric did that, not go like that, yo. That bitch better have he my had no, money. Yeah, he, yeah. he had no auto tune on him or nothing. Nah, it was bad. It was <laughs> offbeat, off oh, the one, man. no cadence, style, charisma. All the lyrics going to sound bad if you do that. That's. I think that that's their point. That's what they're trying to do. Doing it on purpose. Yeah, they're doing that on yeah, purpose. They're, they're, they're reading it exactly certain that. shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're doing that shit on purpose. Shout out to Kevin Lyle, yo. For real. Tell the people why. Yeah, why, why, why no, okay. I, I was about to. Kevin Lyles is a multi-millionaire. Mm. Successful times 10. Yeah. To sit up there and see him get as emotional as he got mm. was, that was something for me. Like, yo, dog. But the bad part with that was he had to qualify himself almost to these motherfuckers that are peons to me 
in a, in a, in a societal view, mm-hmm. I had to sit up there and say, yeah, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, and I'm that. And that's why my opinion matters. You get what I'm saying? Like, that shit was almost... Back to my still nigga point. I don't want to... No, no, I was about No, I was about to say that. I was about to say, yo, it's crazy that... Let's say the prosecutor makes 200 grand, 250. Fuck. Mm. I'm sitting up here. I've I've taken companies from nothing to something. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm it, it, worldwide, I'm recognized as one of them, mm. and I gotta sit up here and qualify qualify myself to you and this fucking judge. You know what I'm saying? Like almost, and then it got insulting. Just uh, move that mic back a little bit, could you? Uh, let's just say hypothetically, uh, we allow him bond. Uh, the the money can get up there. You might end up spending a little over a million dollars in home <laughs> security and uh, mm-hmm. and this and that. You know, are, are you prepared to do that? Does does he have the means to do that? That's disgusting. Word. Kevin Lyons was like, nigga, yeah, me we, and him we both do. Word. Yeah, yeah, we got it. What's up? That's it. No, 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 no. He do. And, and I and do. I and both I will do. personally and professionally no, no, no. guarantee and back him in it. I both do. Professionally and personally. We'll back him. Yo, man, not enough can be said about Kevin Lyles. And I didn't know what I was going to come in here and say about this because this shit is getting like really intricate. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to mind my business. Mm-hmm. But the Kevin Lyles uh, clips it fucked me up, yo. went everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So on one hand, you have the people that say, well, what is he supposed to say? He didn't have to say I don't accept that. Me either. What, Kevin Lyles? They said, what was he supposed to say? You You have a small number of people who maybe don't understand that say, what the fuck was he supposed to say? We just watched Bobby and Rowdy sit there and and the label act like they didn't exist. Mm -hmm. A little different here. But I'm just saying, you're saying, what is he supposed to say? Bobby and Rowdy was new. Er. He has a long, he's a decade I, long relationship with Young Thug is Young Thug. I know he's him. He's he's however many years in of being a, a high earner mm-hmm. for Kev. But I don't want to harp on any of that because none of it matters. It don't matter. I know Kev personally. It don't matter. Yeah, it should I know Kev personally. When I was a little more off than the internet says that I am. <laughs> and he's not one of them. There is nothing to say bad about him as it pertains to his re- his relationships with artists, his role in artist development, and how he shows up for every artist when there's tough times. Need I remind y'all that this is the man that housed Murder, Inc., Rockefeller, fucking uh, Rough Riders. all of it, yo, Rough Riders... This is the man that was head of the helm when uh, the feds had to come running in there and audit everything. This is the man that was an active musician, probably, uh, or one, uh, uh, in a, uh, or uh, in-demand writer or some type of creative, but mm. back when Two Live Crew went to court for this very same thing, which he highlighted here. Mm. He said, this is not the first time that hip-hop has been on trial, and it's a shame that I'm called here to testify all of these years later with hip hop being on trial. Uh he's only done this for my entire career, which is 20 years. I got signed in 01. Mm. And all you know bad about Kev is probably from the Dame Dash clips that went around. Dame yelling at him. Yeah. But But even in that, how he what, how he handled himself in that. What he birthed, what he's done from Def Jam to his music career to he has changed the game. He was there for the Def Jam Dream Team. He's him, really. Mm-hmm. Artists will tell you this. This is not just a Joe thing. So I don't think many of us were shocked to see him front and center <laughs> saying what needed to be said for his people. I don't think many of us were shocked. Kev, niggas like me appreciate you. We love you. And we need more of that representation, no matter how you might feel about the Young Thug case. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. I, I right. I'm not necessarily talking about yeah, that. Right, that's true. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about people like Kev, mm-hmm. Steve, 
Dame, Hove, just there's a bunch of them. There's too many to name. Irv, 50. There are a bunch of my of brilliant minds that have gone from impoverished hood shit to mogul them. Yes. Yeah. And that needed he needed if he needed to be there. I he know. I was glad that it was him. Mm. I was. That's how I felt. I can't tell you I can't tell you uh how I would feel if I weren't that close to him, but I might come in here and say it's a front and a facade. I might, but I I just that's not who he's been. I don't know him. That's not who he's been. I know that's your guy. I don't know him. I don't see that. He's I only saw, ever I showed up. I saw, I I saw sincerity. I yeah. saw genuineness. I saw real raw emotion. And then again, I I looked at it in a couple different ways. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, um, you got to be cognizant and and mindful of the things that they are accused of Mm -hmm. right so you you can't never discount those people on the other side of that sure but to see this powerful ass black man yo they kind of belittled him a little bit to me like i was kind of mad watching him in there Mm. you get what i'm saying like they would never ask fucking martin scorsese these questions Mm. that shit kind of hot had me hot yo and you know what i'm saying but he said when he hey i come from this yes i come from this i've started this I have made this. I've I, given back honorary this. doctorates at all I, of these I, I, schools. I have streets mm-hmm. in Baltimore. I have, have, I have plaques have, over here, degrees in this. They have a what building like, named behind yeah. me at Morgan State University. Like, like what I, would you yeah. like to discuss? Yeah. What's up? Like, let's let's get who I am. Mm-hmm. Forget right. about that. I'm here to stamp that he's not he's not gonna run. Now, apparently, that whole bond shit gets way deeper than my brain, yeah. and I won't even talk about it. But I read enough about it. Me too. About a pending. Apparently, the lawyers involved in this case, from what I read, are all of them. Mm-hmm. Mm. On both sides? Gunner's lawyer, Thugger's lawyer, uh, and, and and the lawyer representing uh, the state. state home, uh, no, homeboy. Oh, I don't. All lawyers involved. Because mm. there are cases that... Inner, yeah, inner, yeah, yeah, inner, 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 28 people. No, but it's like a case here yeah. that one lawyer is representing, and then because it's a Rico, is pulled into this case here. Uh, and, it not, and then so, this guy over here yeah. might take a plea, and he represents and because him. And he this, takes a plea, then it's a conflict. Yeah, it gets tricky. Like, they, they doing a lot. The prosecution is... is the prosecutor's trying to get homeboy. That's nice. Thug yeah, lawyer to fuck off of this. Because of they know he You get out the building. They're trying to get him... No, he can't He can't represent him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're trying to get him off of this. Oh, really? Fast. Because he's representing someone else who they're, they're talking they about. with Gotti. Oh, yeah, we got to get this ball head nigga out of here. He's yeah. too nice. Yeah, he's too Remember nice. Gotti, lawyer? Uh-uh. Gotti lawyer? Gotti lawyer. We got to get this nigga out of here. We can't beat him. <laughs> so we got to rig the game. That's that's exactly what they're trying they to did do. That. They did that with old boy, Corey. Yeah, you got to get out of here. This nigga got his crack record too crazy. But nah, to watch Kev do that, that shit was admirable. Yeah, to see him do it. You know, you hear... Instances where somebody wrote a letter to the judge, you know, they'll, they'll write something to see him actually go up there and he talked about him as a person. Yeah, he broke him down in the human, the humane mm-hmm. because they look at us like animals. And then when you that's read Jeffrey. the lyrics, that's not, that's Jeffrey. yeah, but then when you read the lyrics too, mm-hmm. it kind of lends to see how somebody, especially some white judge that's 60 years old, it's black judge. I'm I'm just giving an example, like right. uh, making it broader. Like, mm-hmm. yo, how some sixty year old individual could say somebody wrote that, or somebody said that because they don't necessarily identify with the culture. Right. So it's easy to to dehumanize them. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. He's talked about them by name. He talked about what his initiatives were when I first signed them. He said, "Y'all want to help everybody." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, so you don't know what behind those doors conversations he's really had with this kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. and then he said, yo, matter of fact, he not signing me. We got a partnership. He's my business partner. Mm. So we're not even going to make him look like one of my subordinates, which he could have easily made him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, nah, nah, nah. Let's big him up. Like, I, yeah, yeah, that said, shit was I dope. got two deals with uh, yeah. Thug. Like, oh, 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 he about to start talking to these yeah. niggas. <laughs> Wait, let me tell you who he is. I, I signed that whole crew that y'all mm-hmm. doing this with, mm. and I signed him. And I I I employ over five thousand people. Yo, I don't know. <laughs> he said that too. He said that too. Yeah, just let y'all know who y'all yo, talking to. Talk, no, no, no. They hey. have streets named after me. Mm-hmm. Like yo, t- talk. Yo, 
Put some respect on my Talk to me, yeah. Put some respect on my name. Yeah. This is what I like too. And um Yeah, I'm highlighting Kev, man. I'm gonna, yeah, so no. I, mm-hmm. this is what I like mm-hmm. too. In an attempt to try to fucking identify with the judge, Kev is like, Hey, I'm have old hey, how old are you? I'm not sure how old you are, Judge, but I don't Oh, I ain't and, here that And the judge was like, I'm, uh, I'm a little older. Or whatever Kev says, he's forty nine. That's old Kev is. And um uh, just like I'm older than that. I, I was take a little taken aback. I was like, okay. And then Kev was like, okay, cool. Well, then I'm going to teach you this. <laughs> and then he didn't say that. But whatever he went into next, all right, you're older than me, but maybe you still don't know. Still, so this is culture. And he went into some culture shit. Mm. But it's just, just great representation, yo. Just great representation. And we need that. We need to see it more yeah. often, yo. Mm-hmm. Mm. You got to see it more often. Yeah, but there's a reason why we don't. And maybe that's a conversation for another time. And maybe a Patreon, because, yeah, you might got to enlighten me. Tank, Tank, Tank said it already. <laughs> Tank said it. Mm. Why are they going to keep showing you this, yo? Mm. You, then why are they going to keep showing you a P? Mm. Why are they going to keep showing you that? This nigga P went out there, and I'm using P just because it's current now, but there were those before him that did the same. True. That nigga P went out there with his, his brain and his moxie and fucking now look at all of Atlanta. It's not by coincidence. Mm. It's not by coincidence that Master P put out seven different artists every week for three years. <laughs> it's not a coincidence that fucking Baby had these niggas at nine years old. Like, it's not a coincidence, right? Like, it only take one powerful brain to bring it back to Greatness. show people a different way. Why would why the fuck would they keep you know, there was a time when Kevin Lowes wouldn't sit in front of a camera. But that's exact law at some point. Mm-hmm. No, the game, that ain't I'm behind the scenes. Now these niggas can't get from in front of a camera and I love it. Cause these are the people that we need. Hey we just, niggas just be sitting back talking hip hop. This man's probably forgot more about hip hop than a lot of people know. Mm-hmm. Indeed, those are the people you need to to, to hear from. That's true. I I that's just what true. I just said. Yeah, like yeah, that's true. Man. Yeah, come on, one thousand percent, man. Kev, we appreciate you. I'm sure your entire squad does as well. But you already know the vibes, man. You know, and he'll continue to show up this way. Like this is not a pit stop, and that's real anger. I do mm. believe Kev could have gave him a, a, another tear or two, but <laughs> <laughs> but that's definitely real emotion up there. Uh, real emotion, real ang- uh, real anger. Prayers to everybody involved in this. Uh, the, the trial is set for January, twenty twenty three, and we'll we'll see what happens. But uh, that prosecutor did get a little sad. Say, that's how I knew he was getting his ass kicked in there. He threw out, yeah, we got proffers from a few people. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, n- named and unnamed. Mm. That's what he said. Not just proffers from those listed and some who are not. I was like, oh, he getting spicy. <laughs> he is trying it. <laughs> oh man. Well, I'll I'll be watching. I'll be watching. Yeah. What what yeah. else? What That's else? All, all you can do. Yes. What else can you do? But. Watch and on to unimportant news. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's break it up a little bit. You made headlines this week. I'm a headline, yo. (laughs) That's true. Yeah. Stop. Enough of it. Enough of it. (coughs) I'm not here. You know what a vacation will do? It's my brain, yo. Sorry. Stuck with it. And so are we. And there's some... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm kind of tired of you, Trinity, to be honest with you. Because my fucking phone don't stop. And that's it gets annoying. Like, nigga, I'm not Joe. Stop calling me. Stop Duh. texting me. Yo, be- Kyrie went on his oh, fuck, socials huh? when he was... And I, I do like the ongoing beef between uh, modern NBA players and fans and critiques, uh, critics of the game. I agree. I do. I like it. Sorry. Unfortunately, I don't know where I stand on the matter <laughs> because I get both sides. But that brings me to me just me. I'm just, I'm not just, it's just me, yo. It's just me. I've taken enough meetings. I've had enough conversations. I know what the impressions do, yo. I know what happens when my name is attached to something. For me, 
these be regular passing fleeting thoughts Mm -hmm. this be two seconds out of a day I woke up seeing some shit was like oh shit shit crazy yo that's not crazy y'all and then just went (laughs) and then just went on about my but and I don't want to sound like I'm complaining about this because I don't know if I should or I shouldn't I don't know if I should block every one of you blog sites (laughs) that just kind of shape things to your narrative it wouldn't work. And don't ever put out any of the positive black dad, entrepreneur, fucking don't, and none of that. We just skip all of that. I don't know. It might work. That ain't nah, because the employees will still follow you. It would be. Yeah. You can't yeah. block them. It'd be impossible. Nigga, I don't close friends, everybody but blogs. <laughs> yeah, but it, like Parks is saying, though, there'll be an intern or something working, or somebody that just wants to get a spot over no, there. No, there's somebody at the blog that owns the blog but listen but listen I don't want to harp on that yeah. because there are plenty of people that would love to just say something and land on a blog True. like that is what this monetization culture or for some of y'all demonetization <laughs> that's what that culture lives on that's true. true it just don't really help me because I don't go about my business model that way right like I'm not looking to say as many names as I could possibly say Rile up opinions, get the response. And when I say something, I just say it. So, made a couple of headlines. Y'all called me the fucking strip club activist. <laughs> Y'all called me Martin Luther King for the strippers and dancers. <laughs> Y'all called me Dr. Umar for starlets. <laughs> Y'all called me every name in the book. Y'all called me a colorist. I saw that a lot. Wouldn't that be... They called me... Wasn't a, your thing kind of the opposite? But anyway. No, stop, no, 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 stop, no, no, Steve. No. And that's where... It wasn't. It really wasn't. Because all I saw was right message, wrong messenger. You can't mm. say that, Joe. Because that's all you date. And I, I can't... I'm not going to defend you. I'll just be looking at it. But I'm like, that's not all he's dated. But people will just create narratives just because they can't. Internet they culture. Yeah. See, and that's, no, no, it's and not that's, all that they've seen. But it, it ain't even that. It ain't even that. Yo, when you allow... One, two, ten, a hundred, or a thousand people to say something, and you attempt to take high road, or it's just not important to you, mm-hmm. then that can linger. And unfortunately, that happens a lot today. So what? Y'all gonna say, I date nothing but Spanish chicks. I'm not gonna come out and tell you that you're wrong, because why is that y'all business? Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of times in these situations, you're protecting the anonymity of the person that you're intimate with. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, some people don't want all of their business plastered all over the internet. So the internet, that's this thing where they just feel like they know mm-hmm. everything about your shit. And when, you don't, and when you don't address it, then they feel like they're right. They're like, oh, you didn't even, nobody corrected me. No, that's mm-hmm. one of the like I saw, being on the I saw them saying, um, yo, Joe can't say that all he dates is Spanish chicks, right? Mm-hmm. Then I saw a comment saying, well, he, he's dating a black woman right now. Mm-hmm. So now there's a fact that refutes what you said. Rather than admit you're wrong, you know what they said after that? Oh, that's just for the look. He's pandering. He's right. Yeah. No, that's that, what they said. That saying. is what I read. I read, oh, he dates one black woman, and now he want to see more black representation in the strip club. I also heard, well, why the fuck do he want us there? That was crazy. We are better than that. I saw a lot of that. I that's saw that, we busy yo. chasing degrees. We ain't in no strip club. Leave that for them. Yo, I might, y'all I almost, was like, yo. y'all almost pushed me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe that one. I ain't gonna hold you, yo. <laughs> oh, I, ain't I almost that was, was pushed to shut the fuck up. Nah. Never. <laughs> Never that. Never that. Listen, a few things. Joe has dated a bunch of black women. Beautiful, beautiful. I wish y'all knew. I want to tell y'all. They know some. Nah, That's what gets nah, me. Nah, they try to act like you ain't that. No, like they, they do know nah, some, but dog. some they do be trying to but act I know, like. I know, I know. I know See, because I do the counting. Y'all talk about me so much that I start counting. So when y'all say all he do is fuck Spanish chicks, I start counting the ones that y'all know about. <laughs> it's about a hundred y'all don't know about. <laughs> or two. Bad. <laughs> or eight hundred. That's me, yo. And that's what I mean, yo. Some of y'all don't know me. Some of y'all don't know me. This is me. Me. 
if there were no other topic in life that I was qualified to speak in, <laughs> guess what, buddy? It's definitely this. It's definitely this. It's this that's, one. That's facts. <laughs> the fuck is y'all? Some of y'all are new here. <laughs> Some of y'all just start coming around. It was a lot of uh, y'all might not know. It was a lot of uh, four, you're forty years old. What are you even worried about strip clubs for? I saw that one a lot too. Those is the people that don't know about that. You know what I mean, hey. <laughs> but yo, for the people that do know, again, I'm home like calculating shit. I almost want to say if you don't work in New York strip clubs, none of y'all are there more than me. Not one of y'all. I say it. Got a point there. I'm there three to four times a week. Chilling. It wasn't a, a, a couple, couple of strippers and dancers and bartenders piped up a bunch. A lot was silent. Oh, Guess like why? Time. Yeah, a few of the little skinny girls that don't meet Joe's weight requir requirement jumped in and say, hey, well, you only tip. The Spanish girl that... Last week, two weeks ago, you was only in the corner, hugged up. Well, yeah, she weighs 205 pounds and touches the spot when you give her a dollar. <laughs> the hey, fuck are y'all talking about? Can you say that on TV? <laughs> you can say that. What are y'all talking about? We know. <laughs> it ain't a whole bunch of black girls running around. You talking to the guy that knows everybody's schedule. A lot of y'all have come to see me before work. And after work. For ages. This is Joe Budden. <laughs> Sometimes, internet, y'all have to shut the fuck up. <laughs> A lot of the promoters in New York. I know all of you. <laughs> the owners to the spots. I know you. I know them all. The only thing I didn't know was where the second back door was in Starless. That night, I broke my foot. <laughs> Outside of that, who is more qualified to speak on the state of strip clubs in New York that don't work there? As a customer that spends. This ain't even like broke Joe talking. <laughs> now he's spending in there. Yeah, nah. That would be me. <laughs> I agree. Some of y'all thought that was like a new sen sentiment of mine. It has not been. You brought it up. It has yeah, not, you, you it has not been. That for Yesterday it caught some wind because I was fresh home ready to just talk. <laughs> but I've been saying for a while, this is what's going on in New York. That's not to say nothing negative about anybody. But I certainly would like to see more representation. But not just in nightlife culture. The barbershop culture, we've been having this talk a lot. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see more black businesses just be able to pop up in New York, in New Jersey. I would love that. I'd love to walk out my door and go to the black owned hookah spot up the street. Dog, it's, it's just this morning. I'm um I'm in a bodega. I run into my man in there. He's like, yo, what you doing over on this side of town? I'm like, I'm gonna go to barbershop. He was like, yo, you got a black barber? Where? Like, he couldn't, like, where? I've been looking for a black barber. I can't find him. He was like, yo, everything around here is Dominicans. And I had to tell him, yo, over here in the hood, in the spot. But, yeah, ain't no rep. Like, we can't find black-owned shit like that no more. Period. Yeah, and it's by design. So, at some point, somebody had to say something. And, and listen, what I will apologize for, because I, I made a mistake in just my typing, I needed to say some. Strip clubs. Because this is not all strip clubs in New York. Uh, There's a few spots over in Brooklyn. That, <laughs> listen now. <laughs> They're in there. Let me, let me ask they, you this, though, with, with this particular topic here. You should have said most. Especially I should have said most. That's what, you that's what said I said. should have said most and the prominent ones. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, the, the popular that's ones, what, That's yo. what I was trying to say. Let me, let me ask this you. Do you think they're catering to what their customer base wants in there? Evidently. I don't think so. I, I well, think well, I won't tell them that that's not true. What I will say is when the rules were a little different, the strip club scene in New York and the culture in New York was way more popping. We mean the rules being different. When it wasn't this way in New York, mm -hmm. strip clubs were way more popping and people way, way, made way more money. You think? That culture was way more up. Uh. 
Yes. I think. But um, I think. Oh, go ahead. You, you are the authority here. So I'll concede to your point. I just think that now it's more clubs and more women. Like, you got to think, you've been in the strip club culture for 20-something years, right? Back in the day, if you were a dancer, that was kind of shunned. Now, dancers be out here, bro. Like, it's a million. It's Nigga, in Patterson alone, it's probably 20, 15 strip clubs. In Patterson. When you start talking about Queens, it'd be one right here, and right around the corner is another one, and they both lit. So I don't know. I think the money is just being spread out more. You get what I'm saying? I think the money is being spread out more. It's way more establishments. Can I counter your point? Of course. I agree with you. There are more strip clubs today than there have operating concurrently. Yeah. Than there have been probably ever. Ever. Mm-hmm. Popping too. Now let's talk about the girls. All the same. Thank you. No, I no. I, I, so but no, so so yes. But you said it was better are, when it was diverse. And it was more money when it was diverse. So I was just saying. I'm just talking I, about the scene. The scene. Oh, oh the, see, the culture. I, I just think that the culture spread out it. more. So whereas you might have had four <laughs> spots before, now you literally got 20 spots. So if it was a million dollars to bust down, it was 250 a spot. Now you got to break it down to 20 different spots. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And that, my nigga, we talking about the, a lot of the strip clubs that we frequent, they in Queens. Mm-hmm. He talked about Brooklyn. I was like, "Is strip clubs in Brooklyn?" Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we don't. That's ne- what I was just getting ready to say. We don't be going there. That Manhattan that, got a million strip there. clubs. Mm-hmm. Yo, the internet yesterday acted like <laughs> I, I went to Dykeman and said, "Hey, what's going on out here? Why is no black people?" <laughs> That's what they acted like. It's important to highlight this. They act like I went to Washington Heights mm-hmm. and said, "Where's the black people?" Mm-hmm. Or like I went to Canal Street mm-hmm. and said, "Where's the black people?" We're in Queens. <laughs> Melting pot for you people that are not here. Most of us, uh, most of us, extremely diverse. Yeah, extremely this ain't in Staten extreme. Island. You might hear something about what they got going yeah, on yeah. over there. Same mm-hmm. with over here. Same with over. Uh-huh. We are in Queens. Mm-hmm. Stop it! Stop it! You're talking to the guy that has had to call the owner slash promoter to put the black girl on for the night because that's the girl that was getting me out of bed. That's who you're talking to. <laughs> Some of y'all might not know. <laughs> it's Joe. <laughs> but again, I think that goes to knowing your your crowd. A lot of these niggas be yo, go, dope boys fam, coming in there, and, and that's what they want to see. Hey, yo, yo, check this out. Don't take no I'm word. Trying to be- Don't take no word from Joe. Don't take no word from me. Go talk to any black girl working nightlife in New York. Go talk to Maddie. Go talk to Naya. Go talk to Kaz. I can name a bunch. Hey, go talk to the Spanish girls that look black. Such as Cardi said. She DM me. Support that shit. Of course she does. I remember. See now. Who the fuck knew Cardi B was black when she didn't talk? I mean, was Spanish. They killing her right now. Because it's easy to say, oh, girl, you Spanish. Shut up. Nobody knew Cardi B was Spanish Until she opened at up. Lust and yeah. all of that. She was a hard worker. <laughs> she had to go in there, fight for a night, fight for the pole, fight for a partner. The fuck are y'all? I'm talking to people in New York, yo. You put shit on the internet and people just start chiming in from shit. It's me, y'all. I was there. <laughs> No, Cardi B could not just get any night she wanted. Like she's saying, she says, and I quote, funny thing you say that because when I was a dancer, certain clubs wouldn't let me work on Latin nights. Because apparently, quote unquote Latin nights. Because apparently I didn't look Spanish enough with my braids. I even spoke about strip club and colorism before. She's absolutely right. She is. As have I, but now it's a big thing. But I like that. There's mad Latin nights in the strip clubs. But my point had nothing to do with that. Hmm? Some of y'all thought that I was saying... I'm not fucking Spanish girls anymore. <laughs> but no, that's what happens. You'll say one thing and then Well, let go. me clear it up. <laughs> well, let me clear it up then. I mean, I can't speak for everyone's level of uh, comprehension. So just in case, just, just so you're clear. Hey, <laughs> I'm going to keep fucking Spanish girls too. Com- like that, that, these two things can, more black women need to be in and, or have the opportunity to be in nightlife. They could choose to say no, fuck that, but the opportunity needs to be there. I agree. And we can fuck Spanish girls. 
never sell this stuff. <laughs> I never. Comprend I never. <laughs> Comprend <laughs> I never said that. I never said that. <laughs> and then if you know how Joe's stupid brain work, I had planting it later on in the <laughs> And posted it. <laughs> Nigga's it's crazy. And posted it. What are y'all talking to me, y'all? Yo, ask, <laughs> ask them, yo. Yo, the Spanish girls in my day, yo, what are they talking about? I was like, yo, I don't know. I don't know. It's me. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. I, think, I think that when Cardi says it, you got to shut the fuck up. Yeah. She, she said it. it before. She lived it though. She said it before. You get what I'm That's saying? Like, like, she I've lived said it, this. my nigga. Like I was knee deep in it. You gotta shut up. You gotta shut up. But the internet will not shut up. Yeah, so. they're oh, not gonna do that. No, no. They don't care. Neither is Joe. Neither is Joe. There's one promoter. I'm gonna have to speak to him face to face. Somebody said something slick. I'm gonna have to speak to him face to face. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> See, that's the thing. We got like a whole. Oh. Uh, I'm loyal to peace. When I piece it up, it's pieced up, y'all. Fucking wanna know how your kids are doing. But I'm loyal to the smoke, yo. I, I can't, I can't lie to you. And we in this era where there's like, and I'm not used to it, y'all. So y'all gotta help me. I may be like an anomaly. There's this era of passive aggressive adult men. That I can't go beat up because y'all going to sue. So you just got to wait till you feel in passive aggressivity for me to learn that you've got a problem or you feel a certain type of way. And I'm not like that. <laughs> when I'm out, if I don't fuck with a nigga, I don't say a word. <laughs> I, walk right, I walk right by. I might look at the floor, the phone, I might take a phone. Yo, nigga, I might talk loud in your ear walking by. Yo, nigga, it's moving. Yeah, nigga, I'm away. Yeah, like that's what it be when it's nothing. But it don't be like that because niggas is respectful. But now you just got an era of niggas where it's too many of y'all niggas that was spicy yesterday that see me every week because I'm out fucking side every week alone. Just that had a lot to say. And you're gonna have to stand on that. I'm coming. What you think? I'm gonna stop going to strip club? Wait, did they think that? <laughs> Yeah, no, some of you, I don't like it. I don't like passive-aggressive men. If you don't like niggas, move around. Or don't ride dick when you see niggas outside. It'd be a whole lot of love the pod. It'd be a whole lot of let me get your, my artists on the pod. It'd be a whole lot of, yo, I love how you spit that intellectual shit, how you talk that shit, your words. Boy. Nigga, I don't really want to hear none of that shit. But respectfully, I listen to it because we outside. But if it ain't that, I need to tell some of y'all who I am, yo. I do. I do. I think that's what my 40s is going to be about. I'm reclaiming me. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. Oh, man. No, I am. Get money right. <laughs> well, yo, look look, look at mean, my brain. Look, look, look. But every, you know my motto. Get money right. No, every now and again, just... A good still will fix a motherfucker. But I jump right in DMs. Hey, ear, 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 spi hey, spicy. That's a spicy mayo sandwich. That's spicy <laughs> chicken. That's spicy chicken. What they said? Stay out of our, our business. Mind the business that pays you. No, nigga. Now what? <laughs> now Mind what? Mind the business that pays you, nigga. I'm, I'm a patron here. What? It's not discussion time. I'm no well, longer. I'm, saying, I'm like, no longer oh, oh. talking about what I just said. Yeah. Now I'm talking about what you just said. Yeah, exactly. True. Like, and, I I and I ain't typing it. And I ain't typing it. I ain't typing it. Hey, hey, hey double check. Heart, heart. <laughs> heart. I like that shit. I love that shit. I get goosebumps <laughs> imagining shit like that. But you gonna sue? Mm -hmm. You gonna sue? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He gonna sue? Can't even steal on a nigga. Motherfuckers will sue. But I'm gonna ask him about it. What he said? What he said? Ish. I'm going to ask him about it now. Well, yo, you're talking on the topic of diverse, diversity in women. You see a man, Dr. Umar, branching out? <laughs> <laughs> branching out. Now you see him. You see him, though, right, Ali? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he branched branching out. out. You see him branch out? Yo? He goes on a tree limb all the way. <laughs> yeah. He's smiling. Look. He cheesing. He's having a good time. You that's, know all, I mean? that's all it was. That's all it was. <laughs> well, stop recording people when they out, man. Yeah. You fucking up my internet persona. <laughs> 
Yeah, Umar ain't yeah, know. Yeah, he was just kicking, kicking it, man. Know Umar's my man, too. So she I was gotta... just showing him something on the phone that she thought was funny. He yeah, thought it was funny, yeah, too. Yeah, contact information. Put your number right here. That's what she was showing him. 289. <laughs> nah, I think, she was, I think she probably saw something that he would be interested in expounding on with his platform. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know. 289. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know what I mean? Dr. Umar found the need to explain to y'all what was going on, and he said... Yes, I was at Cherry Hill Mall today, Jersey, what up? My iPhone crashed last night, and the closest Apple store with an available appointment today was in Jersey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As I was leaving the mall, I stopped at a kiosk to view the incense and crystals. Sure. The Did non-African the woman is simply the vendor. Oh, that was more than that. He went on on Instagram and yeah, was yeah. like, to any of y'all that thought something different, fuck y'all, die slow. Whatever he said. Yeah, he said <laughs> right, what you say? Uh, but yeah. doc, Dr. Umar, uh, uh, she... <laughs> See, I'm from I'm from New Jersey, which is mall capital of the world, and I know what it means like when they step outside of the kiosk. Mm-hmm. And he's trying to uh, she's trying to get a direct relationship, I, you know, I, where she can ship the crystals and I, incenses. I see muffins and cupcakes. I don't see incense and crystals. I see coffee in the background. I don't see incense and crystals. Yeah. She I might, see a lot of maybe smiling. her name I is see, Crystal. Yeah, she looks I see like a Crystal. A lot of teeth. <laughs> she looks like a Crystal. I see, see Doctor I can see all your teeth from the side. Yo, <laughs> what incense you want later on tonight? <laughs> you got a lot of teeth out. She's Yo. shaped like a tooth. <laughs> you, you want that sandalwood tonight? Yo, <laughs> and you standing mighty close to that non-African <laughs> woman, Doctor. Yo, Doc. Yo. <laughs> I'm nah. rolling with what Dr. Umar said. Hell, nah, hold of on, course, hold on. he was just getting incense and chilling. That's <laughs> it. Somebody outside the kiosk. Wait, hold up. Because next time he came to the mall, he didn't want to have to come inside for the incense and the crystals. No, he, so he you bring him outside. She, yeah. no, 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 she, she, had, the she had the smells on her phone. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, she was showing him the smells. So, yeah, I got these too. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> dog. Somebody, somebody tweeted, tweeted the nigga and said, So, wait, let me get this right. You, you spending black dollars <laughs> on white incense? <laughs> You're not buying white incense, are you? You're not buying non African crystals. That's what I was done. <laughs> no, what, no white sage, just the regular <laughs> sage. His reaction is telling me that it's a little bit more here, bro. He kept Yo. going. That's the white bar of black soap. Uh. <laughs> it's when you get that black soap, but it's not black. It's like something else. A little bit. Yeah, I wanted some dove, man. man yeah. Y'all think y'all think he beat? <laughs> I'm joking. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Some dove don't answer that. Don't answer that. I'm don't answer that. Irish Spring. You know what I mean? Nah. He wanted some dove. It's a long talk about incense. I'll tell you that one. Now. Yeah. I don't even understand how incense and crystals no. come. And why, up why is she typing in her phone? Pointing at your phone. Yeah. yeah. And why, she got yeah. incense in the phone. Mm-hmm. No, you spelled that wrong. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who have don't know who Doctor Umar is, uh, Doctor Umar fuck us up. Doc, I'm, a, I'm I'm inviting him to the show. Yes. I'm inviting him here. I'm going to have to step out probably, right? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, we can't do that to Ish, yo. We can't do that to Ish. Oh, that's what I mean. You know what I mean? I don't think y'all would have to step out. It was a joke. It was a joke. I love that dude. Well. It might not be a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. I don't give a fuck about that nigga. You don't want that smoke. Yeah, you don't want don't that stop, smoke. Don't stop, yo. Not that smoke. It's Joe, yo. He read books too. Stop, yo. <laughs> stop. He got muffins too. Stop, No. Yo. Well, that's cool, like. Yeah, see? <laughs> see? Uh, you know I'm in construction. <laughs> oh, my. Little foundation. Sheet rock. What was that movie? I don't know. He's here to help. That's what he's saying. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. Well, you gotta get the permits. Well, I don't know what you he's saying. You gotta get the permits. I know. I, I don't know what he's saying. I got the plug. He tucked his balls between his. <laughs> you know, like, what, what, what you got? I don't know nothing about real estate, construct a school. Evidently, him neither. It's cool, bro. Stop. <laughs> Move on, bro. Move on, bro. <laughs> yeah. Move on, bro. <laughs> nah, the issue. I'm not shooting at that. That might be the one. Yo, it's I'm so good. easy to get black men to betray each other, yo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Give me a dollar amount. Yo, what else? Oh, all you yeah, little, yo, it's so a little snow in the mix. Uh, uh, <laughs> a little green. Oh my god, no. Oh man, <laughs> oh, man yo. A little snow in the mix. Well, where do y'all be meeting these white girls? <laughs> in the mall, nigga. Huh? In the mall. The kiosk. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> nah, y'all be trying to make me get y'all trying to make me address shit today. Nah, no, I'm gonna I'm grow up right before y'all very eyes. He said, Where'd you meet him? Huh? What? No. 
Where's my phone? So we're not going to talk about this? <laughs> not yet. Oh, okay. More important things to get to. All right. Well, y'all know I meanwhile. watch the Scripps National Spelling Bee huh? every year. Maybe some of you don't. I didn't, didn't know you watched it. you were that year. invested. Can't miss it. What was the uh, what was the highlight word this year? What was the championship round? The championship round was the winner spelling like 30 to 40 hard words correctly in 30 seconds. Mm. She okay. smoked. She they went crazy. That's why I wanted I never saw that before. Spell off. They changed the format. It was, I never saw the spell off before. It was the first one. The first ever oh, spell off. Oh, they jazzing up the spelling. That's, That's why I said dope. they must have changed the format. But listen, so this, this like young that. lady, she's 14 years old. Uh, Harini Logan is her name. Again, round of applause because... She was up there just going crazy with the words. I don't remember any of them, but while it was on, I saw someone say, which I thought was a bright idea, hey, they need to have a dumb people spelling bee, <laughs> like of just regular words, and see if we can spell them. Necessary is always going to catch Fuck me. You I, thought, I, I, thought, I, thought, <laughs> I thought that that was such a great concept that I wanted to ask you gentlemen, how do you think y'all would fare in that kind of spelling bee? In a, in a, uh, a regular word, remed- dumb, dumb people yeah. spelling bee. With, with all of us? Yeah. I'm, I'm not winning. the greatest. Well, no, spelling. I submit. I'm winning. I submit. I, I, I'm losing this. I was in the house. I My memory has failed me. I am the Charles. Uh, <laughs> you read uh, the dictionary and shit? Encyclopedia, the whole shit. I can spell all of it. I'm going to win. Why do you think that? Because I was Wait, in the house. Wait, you didn't nigga. say, well, no. Well, well answer yourself first and then let's engage. How do you think you would, you would do? In here? No, in that competition. <laughs> oh, well. I think I'll do well. Spelling is... Like, you think you would pass the second round? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. You think you would win, Parks? Yeah, I'd probably second round. How many rounds is there? <laughs> three. Oof. Let's, let's, say, let's, let's, say this, let's say this three rounds. <laughs> or four. Spell, spelling let's say four is rounds. my strongest suit. So then submit. Why are you even in no, this? No, I, I didn't know how many rounds it was. Three? Yeah, I'd probably, I'd, I'd, I'd probably make it to the second round, and then I'll be, you know what I mean? Someone will get me. Well, I thought that that was such a great idea that why not try it here? Okay. Yeah. On so I just wrote it. No, now. Oh, oh you're going you to throw some words out there. Yeah, I wrote some down. All right. I wrote a few words down in case you guys were down for this type of play. Sure. All right. <laughs> Got to be regular words now. When you doing dumb nigga shit. Try SAT word me. Don't, don't TI me. So now you're a little nervous. No. I'm just telling you what you say. Who goes first? I'll go first. I, I have three words for Parks, three words for Ish, three words for Ice <laughs> in our spell off. Okay. All right. I feel like we need theme music. Parks is first, and he just so happened to take my very first word, so I will give it to him necessarily. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> necessarily. <laughs> Hey, hey, Alex, as I say these words, just pull up the definition so I can read it to no, no, our No, 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 he can't pull up audience. the definition because the word going to be on the screen. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I won't look. I won't look. Well, let him try to spell it first. Is it S or C that it starts with? I don't, I don't know. You cannot ask us. I know. Use it in a sentence. <laughs> you know how they do it. Give shit. me the root. Yeah. <laughs> this is my one word. Why did you have to pick the one word? I'm out. Any C or S. You won't even try. No, I won't. So you out? I'm out. I'm out. I've... Well, you still got two more words. I got two more words. Yeah, yeah you might get. You should have given me that as a championship. It's funny because the, the first round is the easiest. <laughs> nah, necessary is by one. Who, who, who goes next between ice and ish? Who's who's next? I don't care. I'll go. Audience, oh, bear with around. me. I think this is cool. <laughs> I think this is fun. Who's next? Ish is next. Ish is pretty good, but first round is easy. Ish, how do you spell committee woman? Committee woman. Yes. It's all one word? Yes. <laughs> C-O- I'm going to find some no, no, no. Snoop Dogg C-O- through the music. M-M-I-T. Is it two T's or one? I'm stupid. C-O-M-M-I. I'm going to find some Snoop Dogg music. Do, do, do. Oh, my God. T-T-E-E. Is it hyphenated? You got, you got, <laughs> no, it's one word, man. Got, it's one word. Oh, W O M A N. Wait, you did it? You spelled it? Wait, all right, give it to me. C O M M I. We're on a pod. You have to. He got 
Drake, nigga. You, you <laughs> gave me a fourteen letter word, dumbass. <laughs> um, is it one T or two? Yo, oh. <laughs> this, yeah, this room. Yeah, the only hard part is the T. Alex, you're not trying to help him, are you? No, hell my not God. a word from any. Are you? I spelled it already. Fold a friend, nigga. I didn't hear him. Did you give up or not? <laughs> I, I spelled. Is it. it two T's or one? Two. So continue. I said it. <laughs> e E W O M A N. Okay, got it. All right, so you ready? Yeah. Give me maneuver. M A N M A N maneuver. M A N. Use it in a sense. <laughs> you trying to maneuver your way out of this world? <laughs> I will use I it in a sentence for you as you think. <laughs> My side chick tried so to easy. jam me up with wifey. Luckily for me. I know how to maneuver in these situations. M-A-N-U. <coughs> get this nigga, nigga out of here. I'm, nigga. This nigga out of here, yo. I'm I'm finished, finished, can you stop nigga. showing off? Can you let him try to do it? I'm you got. You had 15 minutes. Like you let him, yeah, let him get his shit off. Hold up, nigga. Okay. M man U. U. It's the U. M A N E U V E R. Yeah, you would have got kicked off the real one. I, I just don't like how you just said you're going to win. So now I'm, I'm taking win. a little Parks is, oh, Parks is out of here already. We have no, a two no, no, man face off. You're not out. Ice too, though. But I ain't you're not out. Look no, I'm out. No, you're not out because. Right, so like, let's say Parks gets the next two right, and we get the next two wrong. He That's will still true. win. Okay, I'm ready. Parks, yeah. yes. The word I have for you, yes, is Calabasas. That's a tough one too. C A L A B A S I S. Fight back! <laughs> That's right. Yes. <laughs> to the kids, they that is correct. Spell that according to the this. Ish, I bring to you the word. <laughs> this is great. Martyrdom. Ooh, that's a tough one too. M A R T Y R D O M. Ish is on your ass, Ice. Ish is on your ass. Ice, I bring to you. Demagnetize. D E M A G N. This is D E M A G N. Could get tricky. Okay, D E M A G N E T I Z E. And we have a spell off. <laughs> we have a spell off. I kind of want Parks to win a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so you give him Why, yo? The white man ice is cold up. Because like, well, he's trash. <laughs> I'm bad. He's horrible. He's, he's like as bad as me. I'm he not a good just speller. sat out. I'm yeah. not a good speller. Yeah, yeah. So, but give it to me. Because you're my man. And we all get to get a word for you, too, just so you know. So I don't I care. Think I'm, up. I, I'm, I'm dumb now. <laughs> Fucking dusted my brains away. I bring to you. I'm ready. Who and Nanny? <laughs> Uh, W-H-O-O-T-A-N-Y I said <laughs> right. I don't know what, who I don't know what, I don't know if I've ever read that word I will repeat the word for you And I will use it in a sentence The word Hootenanny Is Hootenanny <laughs> I submit I don't know And it goes Hey. <laughs> you little bastards better cut it out in that yard with all oh, of that who <laughs> nanny. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, Parks is out of here. Hey. I'm not gonna hold you. I'd have been out of here too. H O O T E N A N Y? I don't know. He was close. He was close. He was close. He was I, gross. How you spell shit? I don't know how to spell who oh, Nanny. That's it right that was there. A made up word. H O O T N A N N Y. Who in Nanny? Oh, it's like it sounds. Okay. Yo, that's that was, slang, that's a fucked up. That's, that's a fucked slang, up ass bro. word, man. That's you know slang. what? I thought that that was probably the easiest word that I had written down here. Who, who, who nanny. Uh, but I'm familiar with who Nanny. 
Like Me my too. Grandma. I've never. I don't think I've ever. I didn't ask y'all. Look, I, never, I didn't ask y'all because y'all be with the hooting. In. No, I, I never saw it written. Yeah, I don't yeah, think I ever read that into like a book or something. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I thought I'd be going to W two. All right, Ish. <laughs> I'm glad that was your word. Ish, Especially let's get right to it. Hoot. Let's get right to it. <laughs> Dilettante. Damn, I never even heard that word before. <laughs> All right. Um, let me help you. I'll give it to you. Hold up. I'm with you. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it's it's this, is not, this is not stupid. It's, it's the third yeah, round. It's, it's the third the round. round. Ah, true, true. It's the third round. What do y'all want me to do? You started me with my Achilles heel. That was rough. <laughs> <laughs> he said you start there. That's fucked up. Dilettante. A person who takes up an art activity or subject merely for amusement, especially in a uh, desultory or superficial way. A lover of an art or science, especially of a fine art. This last round is where we get tough, Joe. Hey, y'all, look. Diligent got one L or two Ls? <laughs> D-I-L. Mm. I will play my Jeopardy I feel like the word music. is French in origin, if that helps. I shouldn't be giving you any clues. It does Cause, sound cause French in origin. Yeah. Yes, it does sound that way. Let's let architecture D-I-L- man put it together. Oh. D-I-L-I. Wait, wait, what did you say? D- uh, okay. Wrong. That's wrong? <laughs> That's wrong? Yeah. So far. Well, well I'm going to do, like, shot. Go ahead. I'm gonna do like Ice did. D-I-L-L-I. <laughs> T-A-U-N-T. That was a... You fucked up. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Yo, we stupid. It's okay. I don't care. All right, call me win this real quick, man. Give me a word. Wait, what's the score right now? If Ice gets this wrong, then you and Ish going to an overtime round. Yeah. Same word. Can't do that. Spell off. My own word. It's not no, my own word. Spell off. Spell, spell off. You no, it's spell a spell off. off. Ice. Well, you, you said you had three words for parks. No. Nah. Ish, three words for ice. I want ice to start work. <laughs> that was the rules. That's a good yeah, one. My own word. Look, that's a good one. You bitch ass nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> ice. Yes. Your round three word <laughs> is fame. So you said Dilla. Fain. <laughs> Fain is a German mm. background, which means a warm, dry wind descending a mountain as on the north side of the Alps. Wouldn't it also be like uh, to feign interest in something like that? Toronto? That's a totally different word. Is it really? Okay. Yes. Oh, it's a homonym. Okay. Huh. Fain. Spell homonym. No, mm, go. It's, it's a noun. <laughs> Why are you looking at me, son? I'm trying to think. I can't Yo, think. Yo, I think album. this is the greatest idea <laughs> in the history of fame. Like, uh, Alex shit. can't even spell it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna just shoot out there. No, nah, uh, this tough dog. Yeah, yeah, no, this one's nuts. P J N E, nigga. Just give up. You would have never felt this. <laughs> None of us. <laughs> hey yo fam <laughs> Yo I got a pod Let to produce <laughs> I have a pod Nobody to in, produce Nobody I know could have pro- spelled that way I didn't know I that know version of fame Do you know how this shit is spelled? F- no I can't F- say it for F- O E H N F O F O E H N I'm not familiar with that fame If you were F O E H N Yeah Give me an English word That that shouldn't even count We was doing dumb nigga words yeah, it gotta be Fair. something at least in this. Oh, country. then I would have saved who nanny then. No, that's that's English. No, nah, that's black too. Yeah, that's nigga. <laughs> that's, that's dumb nigga shit. Uh, all right, so I gotta come back because my last word. I don't know if it's of English descent or whatever, but this last word, y'all, oh, yeah, y'all was done. So we have a tie between ish and ice until we think of another word. That's I'll fine. come back. That's fine. But this last word, what nobody gonna throw the word out there. What is it? Oh, wait. just throw it out there. Well, no, because I want to make sure that I pull up the meaning. Hold up, bong bong. Oh, don't don't look at my shit. <laughs> look, you got the privacy you got screen. The black screen, my nigga. Yeah, sure. You still know the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you good? Son. All right. <laughs> my last word. Hey, hey. My last word. And this was of uh, French mm. again. The bullshit. Is fish you. Fishu, a woman's kerchief or shawl. Not just a woman's. What the fuck is wrong with them? I'm, I'm weird. It's generally triangular in shape, 
worn draped over the shoulders or around the neck with the ends drawn together to the breast. It's French, right? Yes. All right, so that means it's oh, ice might be trying. It's not gonna be what I think. Ice might be trying to smoke it, yo. You trying to figure it out? But this is not. The, I'll figure out a word and come back. F. Oh, I, I no, but go ahead. I, I got a spelling. It. Don't tell him if he's wrong. But go ahead. All right, go, go ahead. first. Yeah. F. I. F. I. C. H. U. Holy shit! Wait, hold on. It's French. Oh, I don't know. Mine is different than Isis. What you got? Let's hear it. F I S C H E L. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Ice is correct. That ain't count, bitch ass nigga. H. We said that's Oh, yeah. Nah, I think Ice is Y'all call it. Y'all call it. three words. Y'all call it. I spelled three words. I spelled three words. It's cool. Yeah, but. Did you spell three words? I did not. Did you spell three words? I got one almost. I I need the little red yeah, line. I, I might be with Ish because we didn't say that that was the official uh, I ain't word. Gonna say that. That's you fine. said you had a spelling. He That's said fine. he did too. That's we'll fine. come back later that was with a nice word. Spell off. One word. That was Who beautiful. Right? I like that. No round of applause for both. But of no, we didn't agree to that. Listen, come back later. Both, both of you are better than me. I just he said <laughs> French. I'm thinking like I will find you know, a, I will find an English word and we will be we will be back. We're gonna do like um. I if it's going to be remedial I spelled, we need easier words than this, man. These words were fucking hard. Well, in the third round, I couldn't give you cock- hey. cockroaches. All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, not often am I honored. Not often am I inspired. Me and a couple gunshots. <laughs> so we let them know this ain't that PC shit. Right, huh? New Joe Biden. Not often... Will I leave a vacation early to come and talk to a guest? And I didn't. Do that. I didn't do that this time. I didn't do that. But we have the amazing, the legendary, the iconic Nick Cannon here with us. He's here, yo. He's here. Listen. I love you. Listen. For years, I thought he was avoiding the smoke. <laughs> Staying safe in the little Howard library. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Come on, man. You my guy. I've been wait I've been waiting for this moment. I'm honored. We're glad to have you here, man. Come on, man. Yeah, thanks for coming through, man. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm locked well, in always. So. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh we have spoken behind the scenes, so I know that you mean that, or at least I feel it sincere. Yeah, 100%. But you never know with niggas that's close to a billion like you, right? <laughs> Listen, like, y'all are good with that shit. Y'all could smile when it ain't a smile. <laughs> y'all could <can laughs> shake a hand good. when it's so, I mean. You know that's mean? how we got here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, n- I n- mean, you you getting there, too, though. Like, I always <laughs> say, you were definitely on your Howard Stern shit. Like, if it ain't, it's going to happen for you because of what where you I clean do. it up? Not even where you clean it up, but where because you, you built this I don't give a fuck. I'm doing me my way and mm. people have to come to me to get my shit. That's what started it. So yeah. you you built for it, man. Like so if I'm gonna be I'm I'm gonna be trying to get uh, a loan from Joe soon. <laughs> hey, y'all, oh, I'm telling you, oh the God. nigga got good, man. The, 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 God, he's the greatest. The nigga got the voice. He got one of the best voices in hip hop. Pause. You know what I mean? It's like, See, that's why I wore my legs out for Nick today, yo. <laughs> that's why I wore my Hoochie Daddy shorts, man. I had to put something more. I'm, I'm, I'm confused yeah, by nah. this Hoochie Daddy term. Me I'm too. not going to subscribe to Me it too. until it's too much. I think me. it's the length of the short. But even like, I don't want, I don't even want to say Hoochie Daddy. Sure, no, like, no. Yeah. Like, I, I, don't, I don't understand. That's that. like an oxymoron. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like, we not, we not, not nowadays, daddy. though. <laughs> <laughs> I, let's call them something different. Uh, like, I'm not, I don't know. But my thing is women keep trying to take away the shorts right like they were largely responsible for camouflage shorts being out of here I'm never getting rid of them yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Sorry, men this, never this wanted to that. leave those no, we're women said I'm not leaving them y'all still doing those I'm yeah. like cut them a little shorter now or something you know what I mean me, 
I'm not comfortable with having my thighs out. I'm just I'm uh, keeping it stacked. I mean, I'm with you. I'm yeah. with you. My shit got hit. But it's hard, it's hard to get something to go below my knee. I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation. Am I on vacation? Thighs going to be out. No. Nah. Even then, I don't feel comfortable. Nah. I don't know what y'all talking about. Like, I can't. It's hard to find something to go to the knees, though, nowadays. You six I mean, Well, I'm tall, so it's even more difficult for me, but still. I mean, Nick is saying that about his thighs, but I mean, I watch your workout routines. You pull, doing pull ups for an hour. <laughs> the, the shirtless beating itself on his stomach. Like, like what are you like? What are you wait? Hey, what's going on out there? Yo, you be like, I'd be, I be inspired to almost work out. I'm like, damn, if nigga just beat on his stomach a hundred times, then fuck it. You gotta... But no, speak speak to that. Speak to the speak to the Man. What is it? It's you on some health journey shit. Yeah, yeah. I've always been a little dude, you know what I mean? And been real insecure about my legs. That's even one of the things I can't fuck with the hoochie daddy shit. Cause mm. you know, no matter how many pull-ups and shit I do. I also have skinny legs. This so I shit feel is you never it's, genetic. I'm Spike Tyson. I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> Spike Lee down here, Mike Tyson up here. I can relate. But um yeah, man, my, my health journey loop is 2012, where I thought I was, like, in super great health, was taking all type of fucking supplements and mm. protein shakes and mm. shit and, and kidney failure. I mean, bottom bottom line, oh, like, shit. you know, I was in the middle of a workout out in Aspen, you know what I mean, vacation with Mariah and the family, thinking this is the greatest time ever, and literally almost lost my life. Wow. And from that point on, it was just cutting out all of the bullshit. I went, I've done every diet possible from, you know, they put me on a renal diet, which means like no processed foods, no mm. sodium. Mm. From there, I went from everything from being plant-based to vegan, all this, trying to figure it out. Right now, I'm just trying to eat to live, stay healthy, and, sure. you know, So what's your happy. what does your diet look like now? That's why I like, I try, I don't even call it a diet no more, man. I just, uh... It's way of life. Just yeah, how yeah exactly. And, and food is fuel. If you mm. look at it like that, like, I try to only put stuff into my body, or the majority of the stuff I put into my body is stuff that's going to make me better and give me energy. Other than that, like, you know, every once in a while, you know, I'm still fucking candy crackhead, but I know, like, I got to balance <laughs> that shit right up. next to one. Yeah, yeah, like, but, like, in the morning, like, it's all fuel. It's just mm -hmm. vegetables, it's oils, it's all of that stuff to keep me grinding. And then by the time, you know, you get to the little later hours where you can chill, that's what I'm kind Is of... Is that difficult can, to do uh, yeah. with your career? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's, it's How like, much sleep do you get? Like three hours, three oh, hours. Daily. Like, yeah, yeah. So, you know... I'm up at 5 a.m. every every morning. Mm. So from there, you know, and that's when I'm putting the fuel. That's when I'm taking my my oils, the the vegetables, mm. all of that type of stuff. Uh, and then, so it's not really a breakfast. The first thing that I actually eat is probably around lunchtime. And then from there, you solid dinner, you eat whatever you want at dinner. Mm. Yeah, I'm like so, so glad that you went there. <laughs> uh, what I notice as we age, or as I age, Said health and stamina and your diet, all those things are really important to how you perform sexually. <laughs> Facts. So yeah. if you no, weren't, going there. if you <laughs> weren't, I don't have no other question for you outside of sniper list questions. We're gonna get to the album. Fuck we're gonna get the, the we're gonna get the daytime. Get your shit off. Get your shit off. You know what I'm saying? We're we gonna get to all that. But it's all about sniping. But so this this diet. You can't fool me with all this life lupus living shit. <laughs> you can't fuck without this diet like nah, the, like you do. Facts. Facts. It has to be. That, that is uh, one of the benefits of eating and operating the way that I do that, you know. We out here. The manuka, <laughs> the manuka honey is getting the nigga right. Nasty shit. <laughs> Listen, yeah, you're going crazy. But, uh, okay, the album. Yes. There are joints on the album. Appreciate you. That are, means a lot are, coming are. from you, man. And, and it's this it's not the album. The album's coming. The album, I worked with everybody from Babyface to Stevie Wonder. Like it's on Shit. some real <laughs> like we trying to go hey, yo, go there. You, gotta, you gotta stop. Word <laughs> up. Real no, talk. No, no, so but this shit was the mixtape. This you is the shit he I came, came here to talk small shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the nigga like, yo, yo, if you're you know, the canon, are you gonna be like, nah, I'm gonna get homeboy that no, plays no, the no, keyboards fam. or am I gonna get Stevie Wonder? Stevie Wonder. Baby Fate, everybody's on the on the new album. But this, I mean, this ain't no bullshit either. I mean, the reason why I say it's the best album or the best project, because it's not an album, best project of 2022, because I got Chris Brown on there. I got Brandy on there. I got Rick Ross on there. You know what I mean? If you listen close, you might hear Mariah somewhere in that <laughs> joint. <laughs> Uh, but it's so it's 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 real talk. Like ain't nobody really doing it. And then, you know, King R and B Jacquees is even in that a couple times. 
behind the outside. We on there. So, so um, why you put an album out? Cause you're just too rich. You don't know what to do. Just bored and. I'm gonna be yeah. honest. I'm, like honestly, <laughs> he's like, yo, this was my first this, love. So. No, I'm that that shit too. But realistically, it's therapeutic for me. I mean, as somebody who goes to therapy a few times a week, my happiest is when I'm in the studio. Mm. Talk. Answering the motherfuckers in the comments. Studio, Talk, in, the, studio in the crib. Yeah, well, now, now I got an office. I got okay. a, I got a few studios. <laughs> and a few cribs. And a few cribs. <laughs> yo, I wish y'all stopped asking him. Yeah, you're right. Yo. Yo, my bad. Bro, my bad. Bro, my bad. I got one in the crib. Yeah, I got but the main one in the office. But um, <laughs> but you know, this is this is what. The release, especially the explicit tape, I got to talk my shit. I got to answer everything with the, the baby daddy questions and, you know, who's doing it, the sniper shit. All of that's on there. And I get to be a different type of nigga on different songs. When I want to talk my shit with Rick Ross, I could talk about oh, my So you had pimping. two versions. You had a, a, yeah. a clean version. Well, like... no, because my album is mainstream. It's like I said, it's with the elites of, right, of right. Stevie Wonder and Babyface and it's music and it's, you know orchestras and choirs and you know what I mean like gotcha. I, it's real music to show myself as a musician this was me talking my shit on some Raw and B shit some hip hop get my niggas in there do records with folks who dug like that type mm. of shit well that's why I, I personally would never discount a project from you because of your longevity number one and your strong relationships with just people right so like if you make a phone call I'm not assuming some of my favorite acts to mail it in with you right right like they showing up for real facts facts and i mean i one of the reasons why i've always been a joe budden fan just lyricism all of that type of stuff but the fact that i always felt like we were kind of put in a similar box early on kind of was out there around the same time just where we're a different energy in hip-hop it was the jiggy era it was yeah. you know like even me being a, a person who could sing and do all, it wasn't cool to sing you had to be tough you had to talk your shit uh -huh. and i came i came from nickelodeon so niggas really <laughs> wasn't want to hear me <laughs> talk shit at all yeah. and then joe had such a record that was so on fire mm -hmm. that when you put somebody up there like that it's like oh he's it almost, he's pop you mm -hmm. know what i mean like he went to a place where people forgot about the mixtapes and all that shit mm -hmm. he was like he's he's mr pump it up right so i i was mr gigolo he was mr <laughs> pump it up and we was kind of out there at the same time and i was rooting for him in the same way that he was rooting for me I'll because trade my and y'all was both sniping so i'll <laughs> trade my pump it up for his drum line <laughs> <Tell you that. laughs> i went a different <laughs> <laughs> like I remember one time we was uh we was in some island MTV spring break some shit like that mm -hmm. and it was a dinner and I was, I'm a Joe Budden fan. He's sitting there breaking bread, and he was he's, he's literally I'm I'm with someone. You know what I mean? And, and he was just like, yeah, you're doing it. He's like, you're the, he's like, fuck what I because I'm like, yo, I'm a fan. He's like, fuck what I got going on. See, because contrary to popular belief, right? I've been outside for a little while, so I was there. And this is one of my fucking inspirations today. But that don't mean I don't have a past. So I 100% have hated on Nick Cannon in the past. I 100% have hated. When Drumline was out, I don't know if I was running around just saying, go Nick. I don't know. Right? right? But when you just watch somebody be not only themselves, but be great and kill for years in multiple fields, right? Like when you see these people in person and you see the girl that they with... <laughs> It helps you to reevaluate your life and the things that you're and doing the and, you're and, and the girl that you're with <laughs> and the girl that you can attract. <laughs> and then you just give a little head nod across the, yo, know, <laughs> I see you. You don't. <laughs> you don't. I see yo, you. on that sniper list, because I know you've had this talk before. Oh, this is going to give me so much fucking trouble. <laughs> Fuck it, we oh, no, no, it ain't. Listen, if... 20 kids don't get you in trouble. <laughs> you can have this talk. Listen, where do you rank yourself without your media training and your uh, publicist in the back yeah, yeah, yeah. on the sniper list, yo? I do. Do I put? Uh, do I start naming other individuals? I mean, guys? you don't have to, but you can. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, what you don't have to. Yeah, you can yeah, just say I, where if you, you want to, at. you can. We don't pressure I mean, people because, here. No, let's just put it out there. You know, the people that they, with the sniper list, they talk. They're pretty See, well. They, they they're talk pretty about well the, known. The Drakes and all of those type, of, but the ones that I feel like oh, don't get talked about. You about to go crazy. The ones I feel don't get talked about enough is the Justin Timberlakes, is the Mark Wahlbergs. 
You know what I mean? Because, again, they got publicists and protection. The Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's on the top, though. Yeah. 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 Derek Jeter. Yeah. Yeah. Derek Jeter. Jeter, Jeter, of course. But see, like, he was sloppy with his, too. So he, like, we talk about him. I but, mean, but, but pretty the one good that overall. Yeah. Disguise theirs. Derek Jeter's? Derek Jeter's. He was pretty good. It, it was known, but it was never no Fam, messy but shit. Even but with his targets, his no, targets elite. is like. Elite. Yo, even how he speaks of the list is, is <laughs> of the list. Y'all not even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Since he sat down. Yeah. Fam, y'all just let him breeze through the, yo, yeah, you know I was in Aspen and I was working out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, this nigga talking about Darren Leo. Darren good and, for working out. He's talking, <laughs> he talking about Leo, the, the, all them niggas. Yeah. So I, I would say I, I, I'm, in, I'm in that bunch. Mm. <laughs> Me too. I think that's a fair assumption, yeah. yeah. yeah we would because the thing about the sniper list. Well, is, what he said was, yo. Take me out of the Drake mix that you yeah. guys. <laughs> no, he that's said, dope. No, that's what he said. But low key, he said, "Look, y'all don't even know half of them." That's what I, I <laughs> keep doing. <laughs> y'all know Drake's, yo. Y'all know them niggas. Y'all don't know what I was doing at twenty six. That's the key to that's a what sniper. He said, fam. And I always felt very like, oh, y'all, the ones y'all know about. That's why I was so open and free to talk about all the ones that every was on. I'm in paparazzi pictures with right. because there's a there's an elite <laughs> bunch that don't want to be mentioned. I guess that you know by, by <laughs> definition the sniper that, should yeah, be. Yeah, you didn't know, you know I was know there when you I should, killed you. Know. Exactly. It was that's me the, and my spotter. That's the yeah. key to a sniper. Yeah. When did you first learn that you were a sniper though? When did you learn that you were him? Because I think you were still shocked when you got Mariah, nigga. I didn't see it in your face, but... <laughs> yeah, he, he was that shocked. That nigga was showing us the dog houses on TV, all types of wild shit. You were shocked? Yeah. I mean, I knew I knew I could definitely... I knew it wasn't unachievable. I never even hey, said yo. that word. <laughs> no, no. How do you spell it? <laughs> that's a good, that's a good word. That's, that's, that's ish. That's your line, ish. Nah, like, it, it's... Like, nothing it's unachievable. nothing. And in that sense, because like, I guess I'm gonna be honest. When when Drumline happened, it got different for me because I mean I I've, I've been in this game since the '90s and I've been the kid mm -hmm. like looking up. So I did. I tried to pop at Aaliyah a bunch of times, and you know I was yeah that would be hanging out in front of Destiny's Child. We we did homeschooling together on the set of Nickelodeon yeah, stop, shit. Yeah. Stop, yo. Yeah, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just saying, these are real... Yeah. I've been yeah, since mid-90s okay. trying to be that guy. Right. But once Drumline happened for me... Oh in God, so I was 20, at 14. It was, Fuck I out. didn't have to try to holler no more. And mm. it was different. Like, I didn't know. Like, I literally stepped into like, no, that that's a grown woman. She want to fuck... Yeah, all right, like it was, <laughs> like I didn't know what to do because when you become a leading man in a successful film, I never even said leading man. He's killing this shit. <laughs> he's going, he's killing this shit. Like it's different. It's completely different. Only one, Michael B. Jordan might know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like because when you step, <laughs> with, stop I, it, yo. I mean, we stop we, it, yo. Stop it. I'm just talking. It's different when stop you're it, a yo. leading man. He tried it. <laughs> He tried it. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's different. That's all I'm saying. So when that happened for me, my, my whole life changed, and I was like, okay, now I, I got to be so careful. You can go ahead. Whatever you have nah, to I'll say. Do your thing. You said you do or you don't. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, like, like, <laughs> Michael, what are you talking about? Michael's be joining camp. Because you know why? This, these niggas is in the inter internet generation. Nigga, you 41 years old. Facts. You had people yo, pulling up yo, in the Black Planet in MySpace days <laughs> where nobody knew who was coming to my house. Yo. And you live in L.A. Yeah. L.A. is different, it too, different. Yo. It gets deeper than that, yo. I've heard Sometimes some I say you gotta re you gotta Sometimes you got to reintroduce people to people. I won't allow us to talk about Nick with Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Because Nick, bro. look, that's good. Right. And he's from Jersey. Shout out yeah, to him. His little bro. But but the, see even <laughs> but the thing about it is, <laughs> Nick looked around one day and had so many women. He was forced to make a show out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if people are understanding how he even came up with Wildin' Out and the name and the the concept and it was bi biographical. Yo, it was <laughs> yo, it was, yo, yo, I got all the baddest chicks and conceited, yo. And I be wild. And I be wild. And I be wild. And I be, be, be wildin' out. <laughs> yo, so listen, right? This is weird thing amongst men where, like, where you learn 
about how much respect you have for a man as a man is interesting, right? So on the way here, we was talking about P had a uh, P from uh, Quality Control had a party in Atlanta, yeah, and it was beautiful. Yeah, it was. Like the re- it was really beautiful was nice. and like excellent. They was all there. They was all there. <laughs> no, they was all there. Yeah. It was in there. All of them was no, in no, there. No, they were there. All the girls that purposely don't say hi back to you when you DM them was there, <laughs> and you figured out why they, they not. Say hi- yeah. Oh. God, it's all you have to say. <laughs> right? So your respect level goes up for men when you can centralize that way. Mm. My first time doing Wild and Out, mm. <laughs> I thought I was coming to perform and for a great look, and it would help my career, this visibility. That was fun, man. I was just talking about that the other night, that show. It's not what I was there for. Yeah. <laughs> Who you was there for, Joe? Can't even say. <laughs> I can't even say. I know, I know, I know what he was there for. I can't even say. 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 The successful run, the uh, some of the behind the scenes turmoil that went public. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk all and that. how it got resolved. So honestly, it, it goes back to 2004 when just what you were talking about. I'm, I'm a leading man. I'm popping. I'm movies. People, I'm I've stepped away from Nickelodeon, all the television stuff because now I got a record label and people are saying, Nick, why do you want to go back to television? Why would you ever go back to television? The women. And <laughs> <laughs> no, but in that sense, it's like really to put my. My fam on, my, no my crew. No it, at the time, we would hang out in these comedy clubs, the comedy store, the improv, the Laugh Factory in L.A., mm-hmm. and it'd be we'd be out on the corner, and it's me and people that nobody had ever heard of at the time, like, you know, Cat Williams mm-hmm. and D. Ray Davis, Kevin Hart, Atheon nice. Crockett, and, nice. you know, when we sit in there, they like, nigga, you on, and we all came, I, I just got a name, I'm like, mm-hmm. but they like, what you, put us on, mm-hmm. and so in that, I was like, yo, we should do a show about what the fuck we doing right here, like, out here talking shit, freestyling, cracking on each other's mamas, you know, mm-hmm. and so I rented out uh, a comedy club, off of Pico, you know what I mean? With my own bread, got some cameras, got the squad together. Mm-hmm. Uh, no network. No network. Got it. Mm-hmm. Shot it. You know what I mean? I had a, I had a deal. You know what I mean? I had a deal at MTV. I had been hosting TRL, and I had a deal at BET. And so that's that's what happens when you get put on. You do deals different places, and they want to see what you got. Yeah. But instead of just going in and pitching some stuff that they didn't understand, did stuff. I'm a, I shot it with my own money, mm-hmm. and now I had ownership over this thing that I called Wildin' Out. Right. And when they saw that, they was like, absolutely one. Like our first first ep- pilot episode, it was. Me, Kevin Hart, Loon was the special guy. I had Loon to come pull up. He was on fire at the time. Shout out to Loon. Yeah, yeah. Like, and we shot it in this club. The Wild and Out girls was literally like friends. Like, it was, it was. I know. I, yeah, yeah. We got it. yeah. <laughs> we got it, Without dropping the names, it was invisible faces. <laughs> and MTV loved it. And from that, for whatever reason, I'm great lawyers, great attorneys. I was able to keep my brand and have ownership over this throughout the years. So you look up, you know, by the time time goes around, just long story short, by the time we get to 2017, Season fucking they're they're like, yo, they and I'm I'm I, we on tour now. I got restaurants, you know what I mean? They look Viacom looks up and like, we don't own this. <laughs> you know, like well, all of these years later, they said that. Oh, because if you notice, and I feel like when Wildin' Out first came out, my competition was pumped. Mm-hmm. It was me and Ashton Kutcher, mm-hmm. and that was the one that they held up and they embraced him. So they like let Nick do his little thing. Yeah. We got pumped, uh-huh. and what Nick's doing over there with the hip hop guys, it doesn't yeah, whatever, whatever. And then you outlasted them, and then. Outlasted them. Then they got another guy that they got really excited about. I was like, "Oh, we got ridiculous." Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. like they, they had on another, that one another one of those. All right, another one of those. That's cool. Right. But the whole time I'm over here, quiet, grinding. You know, like 
and ascending. Yeah. Yeah, but then they started. look back and see the numbers Not in totality that. and they're like, and then they look up and it's a billion dollar brand right. that has many verticals from touring from brick and mortar merchandise gaming restaurants using the words like so none of their other brands have done that still their number one digital brand to this day is wild and out if you look at the numbers and everything that it does and they have to pay attention to it now so in 2017 they're like okay we got to be your partner there's like we can't allow this we look crazy to our shareholders <laughs> if of course. you own all of this on our network so you know, we did some quiet deals and, yeah. and mm-hmm. they got me real comfortable <laughs> in order to give up half of what I want. And okay. and I say this to anybody who's watching this, to have 100% of nothing, something that's not worth anything, mm-hmm. is bullshit. Mm-hmm. So all the people who want to own their masters and all of that bullshit, yeah, if ain't nobody you listening to your, your fucking bag. masters, it's worth nothing. Right. But if you have... 50% with the conglomerate, with the partner who will push you to the next level, right. that's worth more than 100% of nothing. Mm. So in that sense, I sat down with my team and was like, if you enhance this this way, if you support it, if you invest, that, that, that's what investing is. That's how you put these financial groups together. You get a bunch of people with money and say, now we own this together mm. and now it's worth yeah, let's push it. this. So that's mm-hmm. what I pretty much did with Viacom and Paramount. And now that we're partners, the touring has gone to the next level. Now I was touring on my own. Now we touring with Live Nation. Slow down. You know, like, and like, probably take some stress off your back too. Yeah, exactly. Nothing. Slow it down, buddy. You're putting <laughs> a lot of information out there and I want to pause in some of this. Because what we were talking about before you got here in music was artists that are four, five, and six albums in with the label. And now that we're down to the last album and it may be time to renegotiate or y'all invest money to make me bigger Y'all might not want to do that. And now it appears that really big artists are getting their projects stepped on. Mm. So now when you say, hey, they looked up all these years later and realized they didn't own. Now, that took them a long time. Yeah. That took them a long time. They were looking in the wrong direction. But my thing with, with you before you get to the resolve is, well, if they felt like that, why did it appear to be a campaign to disassociate you from the brand? Well, then we'll get to that. So, because because this is twenty this is twenty seventeen, and I'm still like you got to admit like I'm the, I'm the golden boy of Viacom at this is like because not only did I have MTV on like I had Nickelodeon on like from two thousand eight or two thousand eight nine to twenty eighteen. I was the chairman and head executive of the teen division of Nickelodeon. Mm. So I was the chairman. Like, so I went from being 17 on the channel, the youngest we could jump. rider and all of that, <laughs> yeah. to to yeah, running it. I had yeah, we, <laughs> like, we need to jump this nigga. <laughs> like, I was I had the same office size as the the CEO. You mm. know what I mean? I was I was on the 40th floor, he was on the 54th floor, same layout. Mm. Over in Times Square, like I was that guy for. And that was just Nickelodeon, not to me. I had another office on the MTV floor. I didn't so, even get to Fox yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we ain't got there yet. This <laughs> nigga's crazy. But this, is, this is just vodka. I mean, I personally like. Once I got married with Mariah, I threw the suits on. I was like, I want to be a corporate nigga for a minute. Mm. So I literally went in and got a corporate job. I became. I, I got a job at Def Jam. I was under L.A. Reid. I ran the teen division of Island, and I ran the teen division of Nickelodeon at the same time. And that's where we. <laughs> <laughs> we developed Justin Bieber. That he came out of that. Like it was so many other pro- like it was projects <laughs> that I was quiet on that I was getting a check. So, yeah. so what you're saying Another is check. we're all broke. <laughs> <laughs> But I just I've, I've been hustling for a no long doubt, time. No so during that phase in my life, I was on my corporate oh, no, vibe. Let me throw some hate on this. <laughs> let me at least attempt to throw some <laughs> hate on this. You can't, you can't, yeah, but you I'm, try. Sorry. Because listening to him, like listen to him. What he just said. Uh, well, one of the things he said was that in 03, he was allowed to get deals from separate networks. I was still stuck on that sentence <laughs> because everybody was not allowed to do that Fact. in 2003. If you over here, hey, nigga, we running all your shit through over here. You can't go over there. That's what was happening in 03. But Nick, because he was the man back then, and that's kind of what I want to talk about. How did you come into that position like, I don't know because I wasn't paying attention from the start. Yeah. But like, how did you walk? How did you walk in to this? How did you attain 
such leverage at such an early age. So what ha- I mean, I'm gonna keep it a stack. I mean, it was the relationships and the fact that I was the young dude that everybody wanted to be in business with, and the first person that I got. But how'd you become with. that even? So I was I was doing stand up. I was hustling. I was doing stand up and music simultaneously mm-hmm. in in uh, L A. So I was an anomaly. Uh, probably 15, 16. It's ninety five. That's already crazy, by the way. Yeah, That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Nothing so nothing. so. If you see the Fat Tuesday documentary that they just put out there, like, I was the kid. I was the, so it was Chris Tucker, it was Chappelle, the way, and then me, this kid. Like, and like, I would literally, everybody from Shaq to Jamie Foxx, like, I used to sleep on Jamie Foxx's couch to like drive from school (laughs) in San Diego, and I would sleep on Jamie Foxx's couch to go do stand up the next morning and head back to school type shit. So they knew of me. So by the time 96 went on, and just to know what the industry was, I was How just How did you even get there, 90, though? 90, yeah. Like, like at 15, these, like you were... I was just... I mean, I was a kid telling jokes and rhyming, like right. making CDs. In LA. This is before the well, internet, in San Diego, so it's not like you yeah, had a viral moment. So we would drive up. That was the thing. So they used to do these things to have like Sprite Night know, that's what I'm saying. and Soul Train Awards yeah. and stuff. And like you, we would drive the two hours mm-hmm. to be... Sunset that used to be a fucking movie. Mm. Like, I remember driving out Sunset one time and, like, no shit. Like, Biggie and Mace was across the street, you know, at the, I think it's the Mondrian, or the, it was the House of Blues over here. Biggie and Mace was just standing there and they, like, gray suits across the street with Snoop in the dog pound at the comedy store and Lowriders. <laughs> like, his nigga named, uh, from my guy from Oakland, Richie Rich, who was signed to Def Rich, Jam, was Rich, dr- Rich. riding up and down Sunset on an orange Harley. <laughs> like, like, it was just just cr- a- Aaliyah and Mark Pitts was like it was just it was niggas was outside for real mm. and you got excited about shit called like Sprite Night and the BET like well I don't even so you it just wasn't the BET places. Awards it was the Soul Train Awards back then and I was a kid in just all of this up. shit See, the Lakers would just be riding up and down in Rolls Royces and shit like and it was just mm. all, so I was in the middle of this like, and <laughs> once. And I was the kid. So they're like, who the fuck is this little kid? It's like me and Ray J. You know what I mean? Like, we were the youngest niggas out there. Legend, was, Ray J. Like, yeah, no legend. legend. Like, I remember, I remember being, I, this nigga would have like a Lexus Land Cruiser These niggas on. got good friend groups. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> These niggas got good fucking friend groups one from first, 14, yo. Yeah. One of the first sentences he said was, yo, I don't know how I pulled this off, but my lawyer was amazing. Still, well, same lawyer since I was 16 years old. Nigga, wow. he said, yo, I don't know how my lawyer worked this deal. But they worked it to where. But I had same my own lawyer, shit. and that's why I'll get to it. I'll I could get look to it at quick. Deal for them. And it is <laughs> like, yo, she was, you know, Jamie Foxx's lawyer. She was so it was it was people and back and that's I'll, I'll paint the picture for you again too. In the mid '90s, and they said this in the Fat Tuesday document, they was handing out millions to. They called them holding deals. Mm-hmm. And this was the time of like UPN, the mm-hmm. WB. Mm-hmm. All, and so every black comedian that you saw on Def Jam or at Fat Tuesday, a, a white agent would come in and say, half a million dollars. Mm-hmm. Have, and they would just pat. So before I was 18 years old, I had met my first holding deal. What happened? I, Jamie Foxx had this uh, festival called Laugh a Palooza that he did in, in Atlanta I and I was the youngest kid to ever rock that joint mm. and Will the, the tape started going around and Will Smith saw the tape mm. and he's like I need to meet that kid that's where the Joe hate came in <laughs> cause that was the rumor that was going around about why Nick was so popping very early on. that's Will's man anything he say goes I'm like wait huh huh wait why, why? <laughs> that, facts but, <laughs> like and because he saw so I remember I got a chance to see, Will had an office at you where they shot the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air at NBC Universal he had a whole wing a whole fucking building over there uh-huh. and I went in there yeah, and, and yeah. I talked like I was talking to his development executive and he walked in the room he's like yo I've been waiting to meet this kid. He's like, you remind me so much of me. The fact that you're funny, that you can rhyme, that people like you. Mm. He's like, you're going to go far in this business. And he signed me to his record label, to his television production company, and really just was on some big bro shit like the mm. the whole time. And I'm like, yo, just like That's all so of us. Yeah. yeah, like my first cassette I bought was he's the DJ, I'm the rapper. Right, like, parents right, right. just like, so as much as I, you know, my second cassette was Life is Too Short, though. So, like, as much as I'm like, I, I got to bow down. I fuck with this dude. Right. Even like, you know, no corny hate or none of that and shit. He treated you and right. he wise? put me on. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Like, 17 years old, I'm getting a check for $200,000. So, 
<laughs> and a six episode commitment for an idea that I just had. I came up with this idea. I was like, yo, I'm going to do my version of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I'm going to call the shit Loose Cannon. And it's about me in a military school. And Will was like, done. Yeah, Call Quincy Jones. <laughs> Call the head of WB. <laughs> look, look at yeah. on, they were right, all on the man. set of the pilot. <laughs> we shot this shit. It was loose cannon. I had the same. He had the Fresh Prince rap. I rapped the beginning wow. of it. It was like Shy McBride played the, 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 the my Uncle Phil. You know what I mean? Like it was it was fire. You know what I mean? Like and from that, I thought I was on. Six episodes, they didn't pick the shit up. <laughs> Nigga goes broke immediately. But I still got Will in my corner. Right. So in that sense, we started working on the music. He put me on the road with Biz Markie. He put me on the road with Jazzy Jeff Tuck. Recipe, like RIP for life. Uh, and then in that sense, he, he cultivated. I was there during the whole what was it Big Willie style millennium mm -hmm. process where he was working with everybody from Jay to track masters to, mm -hmm. and I'm watching this and I'm peeping how he, he's going diamond with these records mm -hmm. he's winning Grammys I'm mm -hmm. like alright I'm paying attention to how dude is moving at this point you're in a contract with Will or no yeah yeah and it's still the 90s you know what I mean so then by the time I get my shot and when my show didn't get picked up from the WB, I was like, I don't always want to be in Will's shadow the whole time. I want to do some shit. He, he put me on, but I want to show that I'm worth something more. Mm -hmm. And then I, I just don't, I don't like to be in niggas' entourages. I'm mm -hmm. not that nigga. I don't want to be like, mm -hmm. hey, we're all going to Miami. Let's get on the jet. <laughs> oh, Fuck all nasty. of that. I'm, if I'm not making my money, yeah. I want to be able to sit at the guts table and gut too. Yeah. You know what right, I mean? Right. Like I don't, mm -hmm. and, that, and at a young age, I thought that. So guts. I went. I went Jay Z and Will Smith both taught me how to play guts. Guy. But uh, <laughs> on a private plane. That's a stunt. When I was no. 19. When they were playing guts, I had to leave the office. Yo, they, they <laughs> niggas would be losing hundreds of thousands of dollars oh, in a yeah. two hand gun. Hey Joe, the guts, guts game about time. to start. Go ahead, walk down the walk down the hallway. <laughs> You'll lose your life. Me and I was, real like, shit. Oh man. Anyway, so long story short, I was like, I want to be able to do that myself. So mm. I went back to Nickelodeon where I had it started and Will and them had found me and said, All right, well, you see Will is rocking with me. Let me do my own thing. That's and then that's when I wrote my cause I wrote the show with Will too, and I wrote my own show for Nickelodeon and did a deal over there and actually started their record label, Nick Records slash Jive, when I was 19 years old. So that's how all of that then from there I could write my own check and either yeah, everywhere. We just stunt hey, on us. Bro. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, never been stunted on us. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, this is Nick me. Cannon. Yeah, that's him. Been, no, 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 that's him. Been, that's him. No, that's just him. We ain't gotta say the name no more. But that's why when it was like that, that, that little, that little part of hip hop where like all of the haters like wanted to say, "Who the is cornball?" Like, well, I mean. We gotta well, see, dissect that. Well, see, that, that. That comes from. We have to think. Don't take those. Don't we, you know, it's, it's not just hate. That came from hip hop's obsession, obsession we have, with hyper masculinity. We yeah, yeah, have yeah. to yeah. dissect it. If because if that the niggas on year nine of this, <laughs> like what are we calling corny here? All right. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Uh, wait. So now. Nah, that's why I needed to talk to this guy. That's on New York <laughs> shit, though. A lot uh -huh. of that's New York based. What? The corner shit? I don't even care about that. That niggas be stupid, man. They, but that's, that's, that's where it comes from. Where it comes from. from running yeah. a, a clinic and how to get things no, done on a level where you just black can't. Black excellence. Yeah, you just can't. do. He's hopping But because around. I'm not out here network, preaching no network, negativity, network, no drugs, and no street shit, you're corny, no matter yeah. what you do. And that's the way it's viewed. Bring me to the NBC debacle. So, you, yeah. did, you, did that? Did you birth the... Uh, anytime... Uh, Something going on with a black person. Oh, yo, he's trying to buy NBC. Like, that, that came from you, right? <laughs> nah, I mean, that's Cosby. Not to put your name yeah, there, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna keep it a stack though. And even with that whole thing, I mean, let's let's keep it a stack. That, that's a publicly traded company. It's very mm -hmm. difficult to you buy. Them. buy them. You can't CRC buy them. Those are rumors. Yeah. <laughs> but he was getting a whole lot of money, and in that sense, um, the NBC opportunity for me was one of the, uh, a pivotal point in my career as well because. I didn't see it. You know what I mean? I was too busy trying to be an executive and didn't want to host. Mm. I actually don't really like hosting shit. You know what I mean? I'm, mm. I'm good at it. You're over but, it. Yeah, but it's like, to me, I'd rather be an artist, you know? Mm. And so if you, I've turned down every hosting opportunity. But for this play, it was like, yo, you can do a your deal at NBC. At NBC. Mm. And I was wanting to create a bunch of scripted stuff, some variety stuff. And I was like, and they were like, yo, we'll do the deal. We just need you to host America's Got Talent for us. Mm. 
And I was like, all right, well, I'll do that. But make sure you green light this, 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 and this. Put this on. And they were like, you'll get that and more. It's a big deal. If yeah. you just do this. Mm -hmm. I look up seven, eight seasons later, and I'm making <laughs> Stupid money, mm. like, and that's the thing too. Like, and I own stunt, no, but you've been stunt, yeah, yeah. no, I like this. Outwardly, I sit yeah. back Lately and I look at these believe. Forbes lists sometimes, and I'm like, look at these brokies. Uh, no, 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 that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And we talking longevity. And we are. And you know, I'm like, people get. I don't know, but go on. I have no idea, bro. I'm with you, buddy. Go on. Walk me through because I'm going to get there. No, I'm getting there one day. Longevity, you there. And I'm going to be worse than this. <laughs> but let's talk, real talk. People, look how much respect someone like uh, Ryan Seacrest gets. Mm. Or even somebody like, and let's, let's no, keep it a stack. Ryan Seacrest, he got he don't produce much. He produced the Kardashians, and I'm I was there before he met the Kardashians. <laughs> I'm just saying, like in that sense where I've I've done what he's done and more. He's saying what we talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's saying they what don't we speak about all the time. And I'm not a nigga to be like, look at what I made this year. I'm, first right. of all, I don't want y'all to know what I made. Right, right, right. <laughs> like, right. but. If he did that deal with one, one. show, one. let's count what he's Wild 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 Cool for Ryan Seacrest. I just use him as an example. Yeah, I fucking yeah. love Ryan, but I'm just saying of, of he gets the example. That, that guy, it's the example I use with Joe him. Rogan in podcasting all the time. Mm -hmm. Exactly, it's, it's the same exact thing. Love to Ryan Seacrest, but this guy has done it time and time and again. Comedian, acting, writing, exact. From this network, that net, this team, that team, that team. It's like me performing with a different coach for thirty years. Mm -mm. Like that should be applauded and shit like that for some strange reason is not recognized. You know the re Come it's on. Elvis. <laughs> I mean, no, let me ask you a question. But I don't like that when it comes to Nick because, like, see, it's different with me, right? Like with me and a few others, they could use the term shock jock, like we've spoken about here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, with Kevin Hart, they could say, "Hey, we didn't like that little joke that you went on, and you can't do the Oscar." Like Nick, Big they game. just be like. Grabbing at straws to find <laughs> shit yeah, yeah. to dead to dead him about. He's been clean. Fan this nigga, you have something to do with this fucking the, the fox. Now let's get to fox. <laughs> I cannot believe that this guy has a deal with every network in the world. This nigga put a hat on some of y'all and made y'all sing a song, <laughs> and, and it's a smash, Number and it's, and it's replicated. Yeah, yeah. Now they're Great gonna show. come up with it twenty other times, yo. Mm -hmm. yeah. At some point, as a black creator, when you continue to do this. Y'all got to give it up. They're giving it up. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're no, not. not. They don't no, they are not. They mean accolades. No, I'm just I talking mean about them. Just, whoever that oh, no, the field, the masses. I think he's talking about the financial this, side. I'm just, they're giving up the space. Oh, I ain't talking about that. No, no, no. I ain't talking yeah. about that because whatever he's paid, he's not paid like he should be paid. That's not true. Whatever he's paid, I don't know his business and I don't want to know. He ain't paid like the fuck he's supposed to be paid for all he's delivered to every network that all of you watch. That's not true. And niggas not speaking on the people that do this. And then have done this for mad long, mm -hmm. like they supposed to. That's we just right. gonna watch them at the little library show with niggas where it could get <laughs> controversial, and we're gonna take a little clip and we're gonna put it out. But what he's doing and how he's dressed doing it, <laughs> the clothes budget on that, uh, <laughs> on, that <mask. laughs> on that morning show. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We was going you crazy. Out. I had that was all you my own. I had to do it myself. You wore like bro. lilac and green one day. I was like, all right. <laughs> Somebody's style is, is going crazy up there. We had to. I came in here one day like, yo, I don't know who, who is dressed better. And listen, they kill me for how I dress, so I can't even speak on this. But between, and I'm an old nigga, Steve Harvey and you, right. and I know, I saw you on TV one day say, so, yo, Steve is the OG. Yeah. So I then I was like, all right, then I could stop talking about this. Yeah. But I, I mean, I, I dress I better than him now. I don't think you too far but, uh, from. But I give, you got to give him the prop. The nigga was the first person to ever no. take me suit shopping. So I learned, like, even when it was the big suits and shit, and That's like, story, mm -hmm. he really got it. Yo, I'm this is another story. Yo, we need a yeah. start, yo, no, start counting. He's leaving in 10 minutes. We getting him out of here. He's, he's <laughs> got a hard out. He keeps stunting on my little. Nah, he, we got to have a start. Every time he stunt, we just need a little dick. But that's to go why I don't party with niggas like him. My man, my man, what's my man, my man, my guy, my guy, my guy. I don't even. 
All I do is like Terrence J picks now. <laughs> <laughs> Look where you came from. T-head. All I do is like them. T-head on Yo, I still support you and I love everything mm-hmm. you're doing, but you're going to piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> when you see a nigga casually, and that's just low scale. I'm not trying to put Terrence with Nick. But on that scale, you see a nigga just with a casual 20, 30, just living. Mm-hmm. It's like, nah, hold up. <laughs> hold, hold up a second. And what should be highlighted, you go bring it back. You bring it back. You yeah. talk. You come talk to us. Come nah, tell me. Hey, hey, we just if, you, that, if you call and pick up the phone, you will come give that advice. Like that ask, each one teach one type of me. thing. This Let me is, ask what's up. Yeah. So look, stay here, right? He said it's what's important to him. Let me ask you a question. Do you feel that because you don't necessarily have a street background or the street accolades that everybody else has? <laughs> no, known. Known. Oh. We'll go, we'll go, no. Known. Right? And, 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 we'll go, no. You're listening, bro. You're just, <laughs> Okay. It'll be no reason. I just wanted you to yeah. go. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, no, no, you don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You got the Disney sound? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you, do you believe that we don't necessarily support you in a manner that we should? Because uh, in my opinion, like, i watched you for years, your background, church, all of that. Yeah. Do you feel like, because you don't rejoice in the struggle of drug dealing and I came from the bottom and I'm up now, I.E.J., Jay is great. Right. Everybody here loves Jay. Yeah. But do you feel like you don't get your just due because of that? Be honest. It's so not looked at. Let, look let, that in the light it's supposed to be. Yeah, looking. let's bring it all I, the way home, too, because I know we wanted to get to the fact of when a nigga did get canceled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, That was an eye-opener for me. They and that was ass something. Because <laughs> they I, you something. I, no, I saw who was Some fucking bullshit. with me, Some who bullshit. was rocking with me from my, Some bullshit. my side, and who wasn't. Mm. Who mm. wanted to quickly say I, hey, who didn't even understand it and was quickly to say I was an Uncle Tom because I apologized or I was or or I wasn't mm. I, I was pretending to be woke or or a, a whole tap or all of this type of stuff. And I was like, I, say less. that that shit like it really confused me mm-hmm. because not only did I always stick my neck out for the culture and even didn't can downplay where I came from or what I did. I literally said, yo, I've done everything I could have ever wanted to do in my life, in my career. Now it's my time to create opportunities and give other people the game and teach other people. And in that process of trying to do that, mm-hmm. nigga shitted on me. Where I'm like, this is the time I'm trying to help. I got money. I, I don't even have to be doing this. And never to talk to, to y'all yeah, yeah. niggas ever again. Uh-huh. Have my little own right, little right, right. multi-village. <laughs> my little <laughs> cannon <laughs> island. <laughs> with a bunch of kids that look like me. And never <laughs> talk to y'all again. But now I'm at this state where I'm like, I'm trying to put on for my people. Like, that's what Wildin' Out is about. Mm-hmm. That's what my podcast was about. That's what all these other avenues that I'm reaching now is like I want to help the community because I feel like shit niggas can actually do this we're at a point where we can get knock on the doors and be like change this legislation do this let's talk to these let's That's put up the bag let's build this let's start a lobby about this for this and now niggas don't even want to support me when I'm really trying to help us mm. that's where it got that's what was, what was heartbreaking that's that's where depression sinks in let me ask you something mm. did you say that's when depression sinks in I can understand that being a dark time in a dark place and it feeling a little, you feeling alone in that. Like nobody's rocking with but you. But in that, you yeah, guys. In that, do you go through a phase where you say, oh, that's how y'all on it? I worry about me and the money then. That's how, that's sometimes how you get up out of that that funk. That's, that's all you can be like, yo, self preservation. Mm. The I mean, world is against me. I gotta say, fuck y'all if you said fuck me. You know what I mean? Like, so, so that's what? the only way I can get out because otherwise, all of that low frequency is gonna drown me. Yeah. It's gonna kill me mm-hmm. because y'all not, even when I'm saying help me, y'all saying fuck you. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, well, fuck it. I know I'm a, I'm, I know the cycle. I could swim too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know I'm gonna come back yeah. and now I see who was fucking with me and who wasn't. Mm-hmm. I watch how each and every person moved throughout that from, from my agents. To mm. to the people like mm-hmm. I, I learned so much from yeah, from the comics lawyers, to the agents comments. to the motherfuckers who really make my money count yeah. to motherfuckers who have no effect on my money. I saw how everybody shifted, uh-huh. and it was an eye opener. It was I always said it was 
was it was a a, a, a character kaleidoscope. I saw everybody's mm. true colors form into that shit, mm. and it just kept, that hurts though. Yeah. Hundred percent. It's some of the that closest to see. people. Some of the people I'm like, oh, you was just in it for the money. Mm. Oh, you don't think I'm as strong as I I actually am. Oh, you actually believe with these people that you've been rocking with for a minute too. Huh? Forever. Wow, yeah, that gotta hurt. That and hurt. that's the thing where you gotta step back and you be like, and it's family members. It's it's people in it. And really, what it takes is like everybody cognitively are not at the same space. Thanks. To where it's like they just don't know how sure. how to process what's going on yeah. they just hear they see a headline they see Don Lemon talking shit about like how you supposed to be my motherfucking man yeah. but you don't know that somebody wrote that copy for him you know there's a producer that put that so right. then when I sit down and say yo you see I'm down why are you kicking me you know what I mean are you whoever that person is yeah. but you also see mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you see you see people who stand firm and don't give a fuck about this. This system. is why I act like this. That's though. my man. Because if they'll this when when Joe's I talking, if they for do me, it to him, yo. I, get, I, yeah. get it. I don't feel a way when they do it to me. They do it to niggas that they should, should not, not do, do it, it to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Should not do it to. And no it's the what. same. I'm shutting the fuck up because he's talking that shit right now. But man, yo, let me. So I, from what I heard, mm-hmm. um, yeah, guys, I heard MTV during the debacle. Offered your guys to take over Wild and Out. Was that true to DC Fly? And that's and the thing. Decline. And I think I think Fly and we talk about this all the time because you know we on the tour right now. He's mm-hmm. going crazy, and we even talked about it last night. Um, to where it's interesting how they played. I I think I forgot. I don't know if he was on his podcast the way he put it. He said there was never a direct offer of you know they 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 allow scenarios and media to say things like hey would you ever think about doing this you float it you know what i mean and and they they test in the water you float it. to see okay. but i don't think there was ever a full conversation because mm. at the end of the day you got to remember i'm owner of this brand mm. so when all of that went down and it was a, a a conversation where someone wanted to make an example of nick cannon that's how it actually came back to me like and and when that pissed me off and enraged me even more that someone felt that they had the ability. That's what we fighting against. That's right, the exact right. shit we mm, talking about. Is sure. that you, can, you have the power to make an example. We've let this go on too long. We're going to make an example out of him. Mm. And that's how it came back to me. So then, therefore, you ain't Audacity. making an example of shit. Give me my shit back and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So then it got a little... Okay, the conversation is different. Mm-hmm. We 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 thought we we owned them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where now we gotta really make this work, and well, we gotta we come that to the... and recognize who the fuck he was. Yeah. Y'all don't have the power or ability to shut me up. Y'all can't yeah. shut shit up. Fuck is you talking about? So me? in that sense, we had a very yeah, we had totally truth and combo. reconciliation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey Nick, it was a misunderstanding. Truth and re- uh, you know we love yeah. you, guy. Yeah, truth and reconciliation. That's uh, it's real stuff. So then, when that came to play, all of those conversations of it, it wasn't even about who's gonna host this show anymore because Wild and Out is much bigger than the show. Nick Cannon is more than it's not a show. It's it's yeah, it, <laughs> and it could have got it could have got to that level yeah. to where it wasn't even about entertainment anymore. Mm-hmm. And because you know cooler heads prevailed and we had that truth and reconciliation now there's things that are going on you know even amongst communities and things that where it's like all right well let's get to the table and really let's 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 have those reparation conversations in a real way of how to get to let's talk about how to empower our community let's let's talk about how oh y'all got your own police force why we can't get our own police force teach mm-hmm. us how y'all did that you know what i mean so in those conversations now we can have some real conversations because the truth is out there we reconcile we apologize where we're supposed to apologize but now let's get to the root of what's really going on and that's where to me I'm the best utilized Mm. because now I can sit here and be a true conduit to say what do we need to do okay tissue paper fillings aside we all said all of that stuff now let's get to the root of this of how we can actually empower each other right and that's that's to me Entertainment is cool. I'm trying to really help my people and put my people on. Long term too. Steve Harvey I saw a clip another one of my inspirations um, uh, he was talking about how he came to NBC or whatever the show idea was. He said, "Yeah, America's Got America's Talent America's first. America's Got Talent. Yeah, <laughs> and they told him to fuck off. And right, then came with America's Got Talent. talent. Right, right. Um, uh, with you and and to the point about putting your people on. I don't think it can be understated that 
while MTV was trying to figure out a new direction for a new generation, and not MTV, but Viacom, right, was trying to figure Which out. Which is a now new, Paramount. They're yeah. getting rid of it. Uh, they done switched. A little rebrand. Huh? <laughs> they done rebranded. It's no longer Viacom. Yeah. It's Paramount. <laughs> um, trying to figure out their new direction for the, the new generation and how they would acclimate while and out was there to be consistent as a consistent driver of content engagement and all of these things, right? The beauty of it is he bought them the time and they figured it out. They said, all right, we're going to bring back all our old shows, every one of them, mm -hmm. from Jersey Shore to Young TV Raps to all, all of the things that worked, we're bringing them back. And this yeah. is years in the making over there. Mm -hmm. And now the host of Young TV Raps is conceited. Conceited. Mm. It comes full mm. circle. Yeah. Conceited. That's ill. Who you gave the opportunity to uh, smack as well, of course. Yes. But yeah, talk to me about what that signing did or what that acquisition did. It yeah. seemed like it just brought a different type of style, flavor, and clearly someone else recognized that because he's where he should be. 100%. 100%. And, and that's was, my guy. Salute. And, and battle rap culture is what inspired me to bring Wildin' Out back. I'm going to be, I'm sitting good. I'm married to Mariah. I'm at the crib. <laughs> and I'm literally on YouTube. I'm like, yo, this shit. What is we, this, this? We know, because we all went up there to fire at you about Mariah leaving. You didn't care. <laughs> Niggas doesn't care. Yeah, 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 yo, Mariah left. Nigga, shut up. <laughs> what? <laughs> shut up. Uh, <laughs> and? Yeah. And I left, but we'll talk about that later. Hey! <laughs> That's why I let the joke arrive. <laughs> you read between the lines, you see how it happens. But no, in, in all seriousness, though, the while and out, going back to what we were saying, while and out went away because I got married and I really was like, I don't really, one, because we know what the environment is. It's like mm. to keep my household the way yeah. I need to keep Shame it. Shame playing with you. <laughs> like, I'm going to stop away from this. And I actually, I started so, focusing on married. the business Executive. of being married. Mm. The business and that's that is a business. What so, is that? It, what is what is the business of being married? I've never been business of married. Especially when you're married to one of the biggest icons in sure. music. There's there's things you must protect. There's mm. privacy. There's there everything is an acquisition. Everything is there you don't step it, Mariah don't step out the house. It, it costs her a hundred and fifty, two hundred thousand just to walk out the house. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So you got to think about the levels of, and that's everything from security yeah, to hair yeah. and makeup to jets. And yeah, yeah. So Clothes. every step yeah. you make, and I'm, we're building a partnership here. So this, I'm, I've never dealt with these level of numbers that now I'm 50-50 in. So, like, and I ain't no punk. So my ego is even telling me I got to be a breadwinner too. Mm. I can't, I'm not a boy toy. I'm right. not, I've been getting money. I was going to ask you, did, did that because people Honey. didn't know that yeah. you was getting money like that. So they was looking at you like, yo, she took in this charity like, case ass Yeah, they're like, why is she married this yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, uh, we, was, we wasn't we was far off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would say, and you know, without going to my <laughs> ego, get crazy. Yeah. <laughs> when I started, she definitely had more money than yeah, me. Gotcha. You know what I mean? It's very apparent. By the time we got there... We was sharing in the, neck all neck. of the bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I just say that. You know, from that I make. She makes some other kind. I don't them jet bills and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little more. I, I take a jet once a month. She on it every week. It's mm. different. But but in that sense, I'm like, this is. I've never dealt with these level of numbers, so I got to step back and really figure out. Um, I'm talking to financial advisors and mm -hmm. and, it, and and board members. I, I never, I wasn't on. I was getting checks, but I wasn't at that, yeah, you level. Wasn't at that level. You know what I mean? And international meetings about what we're gonna like. It was it was different. The access of the type of business that I had. Mm -hmm. So from there, I stepped away from entertainment for a minute because I was like yo I can really go it's get education over yeah here. I can get to these back and then I reeled it back in mm -hmm. when I was like okay well the root of it is the entertainment so you right. never want to leave that alone right. so that's where I still kept all my deals and that's how I was saying like with NBC I didn't go in there to host America's Got Talent I went there to do a business deal mm -hmm. to like we were setting up animated deals for our family we were setting up you know what I mean it was stuff like that right. to where we were just trying to produce content and so that business made me step away from being the fun loving hip hop guy mm -hmm. on MTV and once I figured out what, what happened 
I was watching the battles and all of that. And at the time, my, my shouts out to my dude Chris McCarthy, who's who now shout out to Chris McCarthy, who runs, my guy as well, runs it all, and he's that dude well deserved, well <laughs> yeah, deserved. He, he definitely <laughs> deserves everything that he that he has right now. But at the time, he was just working at MTV mm-hmm. too. Mm. And it was like they wasn't even giving him the respect. And I still owned Wild and Out. MTV Two had no money, so he and I had to literally go out and try to convince advertisers to buy Wild and Out. It was like, yeah, we did this show a couple of years ago, and we went to everybody, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and I had I had relationships at all of these places, mm-hmm. and we got money to Man. make the show because we didn't have the money. So even so, even then, in my deal, I still had ownership even when we brought it back. So then I was able to put on cats that nobody had ever heard of, mm. like the Conceited, mm-hmm. like like the DC Young Flies, mm. like the Hitman Hollers and the Charlie Clips. And I was such a fan of battle rap. I was like, yo, I'm going to bring... Because I feel like we used to do rap battles on Wild and Out in the early 2000s, mm. and that somewhat inspired what the battle rap stuff... I mean, along with 8 Mile and all of that yeah. stuff, but we took this fun stuff and they turned it into a sport Mm -hmm. and then so i was like i want to go back what they did and bring it back to television Mm. so that's why i just dove in and handed the baton to to cats like conceited and hitman holla and want them to become the biggest stars they can possibly become because not only of their gifts and their skill level but the fact that to show that there's different ways to get to this hip-hop bag Mm. and that's where we landed and on top of that, you're able to, right? Like I'm listening to you, and your story's incredible, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Really, like if you really understand some of the stuff, your story is incredible. But and Chris is amazing, so credit to him. But yes. in what you're saying, I've had fights a million of them that say, "Hey, why y'all don't just bring me to the advertising? <laughs> <laughs> if it's my show and I came up with it, and y'all can't sell it, right?" Wouldn't it make sense for us to collaborate and go in together to There's a whole bunch of people in between that would lose their show? job. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. the thing. It's job security. It's mm-hmm. people who have those those relationships yeah. are their job. And that's why. They don't like when we go direct to them. They I don't know. like for us to have I those know. relationships. You lose your leverage, I know. too. Yeah. But yeah. listen, but he was in alignment like with some good people. So it allowed him the space to now just look at some talent to bring in and help this. Hey, we got the back end right. We're doing ads right. We got these relationships right. We're going to run here. I own this. Who can make this seated? Hitman. Fucking, make it hot. The, the, Authentic. The, the beautiful DC. woman. Clip. Just whoever it is. Like, just the the your business acumen, uh, man. I can't say enough about it. I appreciate um, it. To the, audience, to the audience that thinks that, like, we do salacious shit, I'm not asking him about his kids <laughs> yeah, no, or his man. kids' moms I because not only do I not care about that stuff, it's none of my none business. Of my business. <laughs> but what I will say, <laughs> bring it all the way is back. when the topic comes up. I don't get into it. Everybody shit's personal. But back to sniper list. <laughs> For a man to be able to have this open discourse to land. In this, with, with this result, yeah, of harmonious interaction <laughs> between multiple women, right? I don't have to know the women. I don't have to know the kids. I don't even have to know the story. That takes a fucking sniper to do to do, because <laughs> there's there's always peace. I say it all the time with y'all. There's peace. Nobody talks yeah. about this person. Nobody talks no about complex. that person. It's off blogs. It's private. Who the fuck knows how it's being done? But only a sniper can pull that off. Because <laughs> we see other people oh. doing the shit, and it, it don't go that way. Yeah. Yeah. We I'm, see it. It, it play out on, on all your little blog yeah. sites yeah. every five minutes. We see it. So, I was, I mean, you know, every time the topic come up, I was one of the ones I said, I looked at it as a little, I said it could have been selfish. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely I've selfish. I'm definitely selfish. No, no, selfish. no, I've said it. Definitely selfish. But, um, again, you know, we don't know the inner workings, and, hey, look, that shit's working for you. So, I think again it goes and I and I've watched Joe speak uh, a lot about this when his own life when when you go within and you start to understand and you embrace your flaws if you know you're a selfish individual mm-hmm. if you know you have problems with ego if you know that and and you're doing the work mm-hmm. then anyone that steps into your world and steps into your life they know what they're stepping into 
And I don't approach any of this from a place of malice. I don't approach any of this from a place of... I. There once was a time in my life where I was like, I want to be that nigga. I want to be, you know, I'm, I'm out here star fucking. I'm out here trying to get all the best. Like, that was that was part of sure. becoming the young sniper. Mm -hmm. But once you get to a point where you're like, ooh, this is, this is toxic. Mm -hmm. This is a space where... I'm, what am I really trying to accomplish out of life? If I am trying to be the best father in a very unorthodox scenario, I got to step back and acknowledge my flaws. My kids are going to have questions. Mm -hmm. My kids are going to try to figure this out. They're, they're, they already are going to get the energy of yeah. people bringing low frequency saying, oh, your mm -hmm. dad is this and your dad is that. So I can't be nothing but transparent. Mm -hmm. I can't be nothing but vulnerable. So in that scenario, every woman that's involved with me knows that this is definitely this is a partnership. Time. And this is going, like, there's there's healing that still has to occur here. But if we could do it together and I can provide you a lifestyle that is going to be even amidst of what the outside says, mm -hmm. that you are going to be not only comfortable, but you're going to be content and you're going to get to a space where you can also do this for yourself and for our kids. Even if I wasn't in the scenario, why wouldn't one choose that? That's what I said. That was his point. That's what I said. No, was, we point. discussed it a few times on the show and that was my stance. Ladies and gentlemen. His name is Nick Cannon. <laughs> it's him. He don't it's have him. No, his name is him. <laughs> he don't have time to sit here with us. True. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, stop talking to him. <laughs> what y'all got the stunt count? Yeah. Just, no, just, just download the mixtape. <laughs> oh, Ladies and in. gentlemen, <laughs> round of applause. Download the mixtape. Get the project when it comes out. Listen, you still claim Gigolo? I, did, I got to. Well, I'm still claiming up in the club. Yeah. It's still, I mean, it's, oh, oh. we can have that conversation another time, but, you know. I'm again, claiming my shit. That's it. it the, the man I'm still is a, a, a musical genius. genius. He wrote it for True. me. I ain't do nothing wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, y'all talking. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick, <laughs> open invitation. Anytime you want to come sit here, we thank you. Man. We appreciate you. You know how I feel about you. This has been lovely. Refreshing. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen. All day. Sniper of snipers. <laughs> hey, if I thought I was close to the list before he no, came. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. Hey, hey, how far are y'all from the list? <laughs> well, Man, you list? Don't tell me about it. I'm not. Y'all hey, far, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm way <laughs> off. Now, you got something to say? Yeah, word. Don't say what it is. Why would I do that? How far him, you think? I gave him about 400 spots, right? What? How many how spots do you think you're off on the sniper list? Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. I like that. Hey, we out Hey, yo, if you would have gave me 20 years in the business. Yeah, nigga, you would have gave me 20 years in the business. I never want to talk to Nick Cannon again. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> I do. I know it felt like such a no, peon. You, no, you, you shitting I'm, me? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm rich two, and I feel hours, like nothing. Nigga. No, yeah. I'm cool. I'm depressed. <laughs> that nigga was amazing. That shit was amazing. Amazing, amazing. About to walk in the crib and just start kicking shit over. Like, yeah, nah, fuck, and again, man. we just talked about the service shit. That nigga be getting deep. Yeah. Pause. If like, we would add another 30, 40 hour, minutes to yeah. an hour with him. Yeah. He'd, have, he'd have turned up. No, that would have been revolutionary. Right no, nah, seriously. Yeah, how much shit he hit in a matter of an hour with a hard out. He had to go. Mm -hmm. He had to, He would have loved this that he yeah, yeah, got yeah, some yeah. shit off. Yeah. Um, and he did. He did. Oh, he did. He said shout, a lot. Shout yeah. out to Nick, man. He said a that lot. That was amazing, man. Congratulations on everything. Uh, what a guy. What a guy. Yeah. He was He's talking. Him. Yeah. He was talking. Um, we need to celebrate the, the, the Knicks. Yeah, we do. No, nah, he, he, we really, as a, just in the culture period. Yeah. Like, He's he top doesn't, He doesn't He's, get his. He's uh, top five. He doesn't get his just due. It's the same thing I just said earlier about Kevin Lowndes talking and yeah. the people that need to be talking. That's true. I agree with that. We need to hear Nick talk. Yeah. Like to people, just like. Not the but day I mean, in New York, like yeah, yeah, yeah. to just people. Yeah. No, to us. Yeah, no, yeah, but what I'm saying yeah. is, like, not us here, but I'm just saying the hip hop culture in general. You yeah. need to respect him more so that when he talks, you listen. But you they listen. can't respect him. They don't listen. They don't even know. Well, they don't people, know his plight. Most people want to get to the the salacious shit. You know what I'm saying? That it's not just that. Nah, people it's not that. It's don't not that. know. It's like not that. even I just told Ish outside when this episode goes out tomorrow, mm -hmm. there's gonna be a lot that he touched on that he didn't really touch on, but he did. That people just don't know the brevity of it. Am I using yeah. that word right? Yeah. Like, that they not... He said a lot of shit that spanned for over 20 years just about business acumen, mm. business savvy, fucking relationships, networking, uh, friend group. Like, he went... Bro, he dropped so much game yeah. in an hour. 
Nigga. That if you're not paying attention, you'll miss it. And that's why I get mad as I'm sitting there with my mom watching daytime talk show TV, and they bring these great minds out to talk about hot topics. <laughs> And I sit and I look at my mom like, yo, what are you doing? But I understand the demo that you're targeting. Yeah. But we need something different mm -hmm. from this. Yo, I'm, my mom, it's almost time for her to go. And I'm getting sad. I'll be honest. I'm getting sad. She going to move bit. out soon? I mean, let Corey and Ish tell it. <laughs> let Corey and Ish tell it. Her career is done. <laughs> she just. But that the conversations you have with your parents while you're an adult. I wish I could live with my parents. While again. you are an adult. Very man, good, man. Yo. Very, very I good. think about that a lot too. With Amazing. like my grandparents, rest in peace. You know what I mean? It's like, damn, I wish I could talk to them now. You feel me? It's different. So, it's I, different. I get so much gain. My grandfather alone, he's a he turns eighty one next week, and me and him just sit and kick it. Mm. And he, it's like even though the world is different, yeah, the game he give you still applies. That's yeah, no knowledge. Is yeah, no. knowledge. Yeah. And like, I take like anything. I go to him. Yeah, my grandparents That's passed I when I was to. a teenager, so I never really got to experience their knowledge as an adult. True, but you should. Y'all not living together shouldn't stop. No, I'm talking about from, my grandparents. Oh, but my parents. Neighbor, I still I, when I go see them, and I, when I talk, we talk all the time and mm -hmm. the phone and text and all that. So I still get that, but I missed that with my grandparents, which I think is like a different level. You know, what I mean? really like is. World War Two depression shit. You the know, what I mean? like they went through yeah. some shit. The fun I have with my mom on these topics, you're absolutely right. Yeah. If my grandparents were alive while I was 40 years old and could yeah. have some, oh, man. oh yeah, buddy, man. it would get real, real. Man, man. They saw a whole different world, my nigga. What? So to hear them, nigga, it's, 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 it's amazing. Like, I remember when my grandfather passed and we were going through his house, he had like boxes with shit that would be labeled and shit, it would be like string too short to use, but they grew up in the Depression. Like they would save, oh, so they saved like everything, everything, just in case. And then they went through World War Two, which was we're saving all this rubber bands and all types of shit for the war effort. Like, and to have these conversations now would be priceless. It's fun. fun. It is fun. Yeah, I go to my mom's room the other morning. I go to turn the news on. Well, and in my room, I turn the news on. We both watch the news in the morning. I watch the news. I turn it on in my room. It's five in the morning, six in the morning. They bleeding me to death with the London ceremony for the. Jubilee, the, I don't want to mispronounce it for the for the royal family over there. Uh -huh. They they do something every year. Mm -hmm. I'm ignorant, so I don't know what it is. And I immediately turn. I'm like, Yo, dog, why you not showing me the murders in the Bronx? Why are you giving me what's going on over there? Cool. I go see this in my mom's room. She's got the news on. Same shit. And she's like, Oh, the queen, <laughs> <laughs> the royal family. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> and I say, Why you care about this? And she said, Oh, it's the royal family. And I say. Yeah, your generation, yo. <laughs> but and so then Trey's yo, generation. But wait, like, let's not let's rag on them some more. No. Yo, y'all believed anything, yo. Anything, bro. Anything they put on the TV, the news. The news hey, why you love them? Because I, 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 why that though? We in the, the why that? Of let's get it. Let's get into we, it. We don't yeah. have to have a uh, shit in the baby boomers generation All conversation. All their information can... came from the news. And they swear by the news. Nigga, if the news the said Bible. It, it was the facts. I said, Ma, how'd JFK die? She said, they killed him. I said, who's they? <laughs> she said, someone. I said, yo, I'm done. All right. They was doing shit right in front of y'all. <laughs> right before your eyes. Y'all yeah. was nothing to watch. And then Trey and them not going to believe a fucking thing. Yeah. So Word. we like, if he, if we, if he, if he. Like, the older I get, the more this shit. That don't sound right, fam. Everything, bro, Trey and them going to be like, I just like, had this nope. conversation last night. I was talking to somebody and I said, yo, subject, the Bible came up. Oh, what the hell, man? And I just said, yo, is it me? <laughs> or is it the older I get, the more this shit look like some bullshit, yo. <laughs> <laughs> like, like. Yo, dog. Is it Chill me? Out. Chill out, dog. Nigga, M. Night Shalahan wrote the book. <laughs> Man, come on, let's just talk, talk of what it is. No, it's fine. I believe in a higher power. No, and yeah, yeah, I'm not. A I'm greater not, being. I'm talking about that book. But the. <laughs> yeah, all right, we ain't never going to have money. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right. No, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want it, you know? I don't want it. I'm cool. Come on. The fucking Bible. <laughs> Another book I never read. <laughs> no, you got to read that. That's some of the best shit in the world. No, man. I don't. No, I don't no, just read, read it one time. Man. Read what Steven Spielberg like, huh? and them niggas <laughs> wrote, wrote Conjure. Man, up. you start really look like. Y'all believe. Then you get mad. Like, y'all believe this? Like, this worked? I 
can that write worked. one of these. That shit is successful as I hell. I can get one of these off. <laughs> yo, let if me this worked, I could get one of these off. By far. I might See, need to start me some shit, And yo. this is why... Thousands I, of years I of popularity. <laughs> but this is why I be wanting to cut my brain off. I'm watching the final... That shit bigger the, than Thriller. The guitarist nigga go out there, <laughs> and he absolute, absolutely smokes the Star Spangled Band. That dude, yo... I know some people thought he went a little too crazy, mm-hmm. but as a, Jimi guitar, as a guitar lover, that wasn't Jimi Hendrix. Oh, no. Jimi Hendrix is dead. I'm talking, uh, I missed the first part. Uh, game one. Game, oh, game, game one. The okay, finals. Okay, the finals. Okay, gotcha, uh, gotcha, do, do, gotcha. Do, do. I ain't seen the Star Spangled Banner part. No. Yeah. Oh, then y'all missed the top of it, but they brought a guitarist out there. I don't remember his name, but he smoked that shit, right? Mm-hmm. And for some reason, that put me back in the auditorium of school. That's his name. Doing like uh, yeah. Neil Schoen. Jer- oh, from Germany. Duh. Oh, oh shit. Duh. We ain't going to Don't Stop Believing after that? No. Because yeah. I don't be knowing the Journey dudes by face. They're like football players. Yo, if he would have been thrown in Don't Stop Believing during the Star Singles, man, that shit would have been out of work. But yeah, when he, work. When he, work what? But when he was smoking that shit as an instrumentalist, I was doing the, like, the words of the song. I was like, yo. I went to that. I went to I Pledge Allegiance. No, to the, the flag. I think it's like the second or third verse of no, Star Spangled Banner. They, like, they took the verse out. Yeah, they took them out. States of America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like those don't happen no, no more. No, they took oh, the verse okay. out. Yeah, Wait, we took... was children, yo. I was into the Republic. For which it's yeah. there. For <laughs> which it's there. We couldn't go outside without memorizing, mm-hmm. pledging to something. Who the fuck are y'all niggas that I <laughs> pledge to? I pledge to none of this. You have to stand and hold your hand up. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Hand no, over the heart. Put your hand on your heart. Hand on your heart. Yeah, Yeah. The whole class. Well, the black people's uh, version of that was what's the other song? Lift, lift every voice. Lift every yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know we voice. going <laughs> we know our shit. shit a little more fire. Yeah, yeah, we, we know our shit. shit. Well, we know our shit. Lift every and, voice. And in our day. shit, we not forcing you to pledge to sh- something like Church Hill Church, like Hillsong Church. <laughs> Hell, niggas always want yo, us don't to trigger pl- ish, man. Word, yo, chill out. Because he half white. He always want us to. I'm half white. He always Yo, you gotta stop saying they believe that. You are. They think I'm mixed. Look at your eyes. No, I ain't mixed, nigga. Those are natural eyes. Wow. I learned so through wow. the day. I got to start learning more about my friends. Man. I, yeah, I ain't even know he had them eyes when Nick Cannon was sitting here. That nigga got little eyes was humble. My me too. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, I'm with you. Hey, we them niggas. But they, 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 like, that's different, yo. yo yeah, it's kind of, you know what I mean? I regret asking him about the sniper list. Yeah. Not me. I would have preferred yeah, to just keep him with the... Drake's and nah, uh, he made sense. He was so yeah. humble in it. I mean, everyone mentions Drake, but <laughs> but <laughs> no, he said, those guys. But, that's pretty cute. No, no, but for know, me, those, those guys, you you really can't be called a sniper because yeah, they fuck the ugliest. Sni- of it. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what he said. Oh, nobody, yeah, nobody, nobody that's not what he said. Yo, no. compare my bitches to theirs. I would never, <laughs> and I wouldn't touch their bitches. <laughs> that's what he said, yo. yo. I forget it, yo. Nobody, I got a sleeper. Nobody knows the snipers were there. You just dead. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Basically, them niggas ain't snipers. They just... They just running in They and regular shoot. shooters. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey shoot. podcast audience, all I have is a song <laughs> to offer you that, <laughs> that you may have never heard. I don't know. Um, you don't want to give any uh, the finals? The finals. The finals. I went to sleep in quarter number three. <laughs> Same. Oh, you did yourself I thought it was dis- over. I thought you it was over. You did yourself a disservice. Man, I woke up and said, huh? Yo, Shout you, out to Boston, man. You did yourself a disservice. Nice. Shout out to Boston. Why? Cause they, Cause they did what they did. Yo, dog, I don't feel like doing this with you. you There's nothing to do. What so why do? would you not give Boston their props? No, I will give this variation of the Celtics their pride. Shout out, Boston. What do you mean, this variation? Joe's just leaning on his New York, Boston hate. Never That's shout out, Boston. <laughs> oh, oh, got you. Okay. Yeah. I'm not. Y'all can. Yo, I don't lose in this. Let me, be, let me speak my piece in 40 seconds, and y'all can give y'all's. Uh, brief synopsis on this because uh, we out of here. I don't lose in this. I want Tatum to get a ring. I want the Warriors to get a ring. No, you lose as, as a Knicks fan, how? Because you came in, if, if Golden State wins, you're going to come in here all day. Yo, I told like you the aura back, back Yeah, like you the I fucking called, aura. I called two sports. Oh, I don't care about that. So, no, no, you care. You do care you about that. I would like to you do care. it, but is that important in the grand scheme for me? No. In the grand scheme is, I say it all the time here, I like to see greatness. So I'm rooting to see a dynasty. One and two, fucking um, for the Warriors, like as a Nick fan, because my perspective is different from yours. Mm. I think Ish has like sports elitism complex. 
He's a Laker fan and a Cowboy fan, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I can't Lakers. speak for ice shit, but from as a Nick fan, still a fan and Sixers fan. That's what my girl is. She was like, not from Pennsylvania, from, from, from Boston. Though. Weird. And she's like, yo, did the Celtics win that game last night? Because she heard me. I was like, oh, fuck the niggas. And I was like, well, yeah, they won. Yo, he grew up in New Jersey and went to PA for all the sports. Did he? Yeah. He's a Sixers fan and a Steelers fan. Not ish. Ice. Oh, oh yeah. Ice. Oh, my bad. My bad. Yeah. Ice. So? Oh, yeah. Well, he tried to live out there with a woman. <laughs> he <laughs> came back and started fucking, fucking New York Dallas. Dallas. Fucking matter. So what? Better than Lancaster. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> no sports out there. Well, the Barnstormers. So Shorty was like, yo, when's the last time? The Barnstormers? That's the softball, uh, minor league baseball team. Excuse me. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 100%. <laughs> Free tickets, nigga. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yeah. I'll be trying to get us somewhere, yeah. and then y'all will come in to talk about the Little League team. And, <laughs> yeah. and well, yeah, 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 so y'all go ahead. No, he just asked me. I don't know about the Pencil Slingers. Who are we all talking about right now? <laughs> like it's the Barnstormers. I was at the games. Anyway, I think Ish has sports fan elitism. He does. Uh, but as a Nick fan, I like being an undercover Warriors fan. Not just because their players are great. I think the organization is ran well, and that feels good as a sports fan. I ain't going to hold you. It does. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if they win, great. But if Tatum wins, I'm, I'm going to throw a party. If Marcus Smart get a ring, I'm throwing a party. If J- the black coach get a ring, J-B. year one, I'm throwing a party. I do not think that will happen. I do not think that will happen. You think Boston winning, Corey? So yeah, I know you don't got a money. All right. I don't have the Celtics winning. But if they do, I ain't coming in here mad that all the black a black Celtics team won. Adult me like the old like Duke. <laughs> I like the Celtics, the Jazz a little bit. Like all the teams that was like not supposed to. Nah, come on, yo, come on, yo. Once Deron Williams got Jerry Sloan out of there, had to get some black players. Like, all right, I can fuck with y'all a little bit. So that's me. Listen, uh, I went to bed in quarter three. Uh, the Celtics went crazy in the fourth quarter. Uh, I do think that if the Celtics win, that is an indictment on Wardell's resume, that he did not close. You do not start out. I thought he would close that game with 23s. No, nah, you know what happened? He had to play D. And he got three fouls. Coaching, coaching. He got three fouls. Coaching. I was cursing Keeb out. Keeb said he wouldn't be shocked if the Celtics swept the Warriors. And I cursed him out, wow. right? Listen. You can they say, say what you want. Yo, I'm not going to hold you. I saw a lot There's of a few talk. Pit. Niggas was talking yeah. like the Warriors is chump in this series. Niggas I saw a lot of talk. Like, I mean, listen, if Al Horford and uh, uh, Derek White can ball out like that consistently, it's going to be very tough They were saying Warriors. Boston's defense is going to fuck them up. They don't. People I've seen talk like they don't stand a chance. And I'm like, tell are we talking about the same Warriors? Tell people to shut up. When I fell asleep, I thought that the Warriors would win. But I did say to myself, Tatum ain't went off yet. And that's a little scary. Mm-hmm. That's a he little scary. Terrible. It's a he little played terrible. He just scary. ain't score. But he 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 facilitated the offense. How many assists he had? I think he had double digit assists. Yo, before I give the uh the ending of my analysis and toss it to you guys, mm. can I bring it back to the sniper list really quickly? <laughs> sure. Because I like to just highlight undercover snipers. I don't care if they're married with kids, just niggas you would have to deal with in sniper land. And Al Horford is one of them <laughs> for me. Hey, boy. Really? 1,000%. Al, Al, Al Horford speaks seven languages. He's Dominican. He's six foot ten. He's beautiful. He plays well. He's got all the money because he's been there forever. Mm-hmm. If you were in the club and y'all were at it the same at the same time, he's married, so he shouldn't be in this. But if y'all were at it at the same time, guess what, buddy? You have to deal with Al Horford now. And that's a name that just you wouldn't think yeah. you have. I like to come, go to those names. Because you just bump into these niggas sometimes. <laughs> Al Horford, for his fucking birthday, went off again. Yeah. And I agree with Draymond, yo. They asked him what happened in the post in the post game. He said, White, Horford, and dude went 15 of 21. Smart. Went 15 of 21 from three. Mm-hmm. That's it. Don't talk to me no more. Now, I'm done. I still have Warriors in six, not seven. The floor is yours. I can see it going to seven. I can see it going to seven. Me too. Sure. Me too. I still got the Warriors coming out of this. And wait, all of y'all were right that I spoke to. Once they started, once the refs started letting them play, <laughs> it's bad. Benefits of Boston. It's bad. Yeah. It's bad. No, it ain't that's that. It's bad. Go ahead. Floor drill. They can't stop I'm Steph. Done. They can't stop him. Steph was just getting shots. Everybody else got to show up. Lights was bright for Jordan Poole. I ain't going to lie to you. 
Lights was, lights was bright for Jordan Poole. Yeah. 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 It's bright lights. Mm-hmm. It's bright lights. Nah, Steph. They was I don't care him. if they hunt him if the rest of them niggas show up. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, I gave you 30 points quarter one. Y'all, yeah, win it now. I'm done. Steph, yeah. the yeah. problem with this is Steph can't hide on defense. He can't hide because, honestly, they was getting the motherfucking pick and roll with him and Jason Tatum, and Tatum just was missing. They was, Jason but Tatum that don't 16. matter because everybody else that don't make it at that clip regularly did. I know. And if I'm Golden State, I'm cool with betting that Marcus Smart is not going to go. Uh, I'm not doing that. I, you I can am. do White, but White made mad big shots. No, but White has up. always made those shots. Yeah. Yeah. Marcus Smart making some of them. It was fadeaway baseline threes, some of them, for Marcus Smart. I was like, oh, shit, all right. They wilding out. Huh? Nah. Boston is, I watched the whole game. I watched the whole game, dog. Well, about halfway through, Al Hofford kicked in. Nah, JB kicked in, yo. JB started bringing him back, and when he started doing that, everybody else got ignited. Mm. Boston was rushing a, b- a bunch of shots mm. early, and they when they calmed down, yo, and JB started penetrating and kicking in the early fourth quarter, it was over. Part of the reason why I give Golden State this dub, and then we'll get to sleepers, is coaching. I told Keeb that coaching should play a part in game one, mm-hmm. and which is why I had Golden State winning game one. But I had it reversed. Golden State does try to get cute. And if they're going to try to get cute and sleep on you a little bit, it might be game one. I think game two, we'll see the coaching. They'll um, lock in more? The coaching. I, I I'm only imagine. talking about Steve Kerr now. No, I'm, I'm saying. I just think We that will see great coaching changes from Steve Kerr, and they will win game two. What decidedly. adjustments can he make? Al Horford won't do that again. Like that. Not wide open. You'll have to be contested. Can't. Lou was hanging contest. out in the post you while can, he was out there banging true. them three. You, you can contest Al Horford's three. Yeah, you can. You don't have to just. Four of them was wide open. Four of them, uh, Draymond was dropping back instead of pushing forward on the pick and roll. That don't have to be the case. It does. Hey, we'll take. It don't. We'll take a loss, but you have to make it with a hand in your face. Stop it, nigga. You just turned 49. That's wrong. Well, okay. Do it. Do it six more games. <laughs> do it six more <laughs> games. It was your birthday. Your kid is here. Your first final three game. More. You did it. <laughs> Yeah, you did it. Yeah, do it three more. You did it. Right. All right, do it three more games. That's cool. And if they win, I'm going to come in here and big up every black player in the Celtics and the coach and Neil Long. Yeah, as you should. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't they, already, they already get accolades from being that far. At, 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 at the midway point, them niggas was in the negative. They had a losing record. Well, salute Bron. Well, yeah, you got to shoot. Yeah, salute Bron. Bron is a billionaire. Round of applause. Who didn't know that? Oh, oh shit. He's a, Somehow, with the click of a button, I move the applause to the fairy sound and vice versa. <laughs> we'll fix that. Oops, daisy. Um, yeah, shout out to LeBron. He's a billionaire without any of it coming from A&R and you weak niggas albums. <laughs> so, that should be applauded. Oh, man. And I don't think he ain't finished neither. <laughs> Finish. Nigga's 10 years old. He ain't getting started. Yeah. Yeah, no, he didn't. Before you close out, we, we have a couple um, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yes, yeah, rest in peace, Mary and Barbara. That. that hurt my soul. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got more. Yeah, uh, more. Dave Smith, uh, he invented MIDI. MIDI. Yeah. Amongst other things, brilliant synthesizers. Yeah, but all that, that shit you hear on yeah. 070 Shakes album, he invented all himself. But to do that in the 70s, right? And a lot of my favorite people today, like, pay tribute. Pay tribute, uh, and just Blaze for one mm-hmm. was like, yo, in the seventies to make all the machines that people use communicate with each other. Mm-hmm. Like that was the only line I needed to hear about yeah. this gentleman. Yeah. So that, all, that's, like when you see a producer show up somewhere and he's got a laptop and a little keyboard and he just plugs it into it and he's controlling that shit. That was Dave Smith invented that. Mm. And that's ridiculous. Yeah. In the seventies. See more names. See that's what I mean. Like more people should know that name. Yeah. Yeah. That's to the earlier point about what the dude, the director dude was saying about what the shit is happening in Hollywood with the movies and just the culture of it. Like, that's culture to me. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is culture. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, also, bad. rest in peace to Leo Goff. He was an uh, engineer, um, worked very closely with Yo Gotti and his entire camp. Oh, through wow. all the mixing I didn't and hear everything. About that one. Yeah, he passed away as well over there. Over rest, the in peace. rest in peace. Rest in peace. Uh, rest in peace to Master P's daughter, mm-hmm. Tatiana Miller. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, it's just been a been a lot. Going um, on. I saw they put in, uh, John Madden on the cover of Madden this year. With I think it's dope and kind of in the same vein of rest in peace. Yes. Yeah. 
True. Rest in peace, John Madden. Mm-hmm. Um, and Big O got a, a street name for him in New York. Long overdue. Who does? Well, Big, Big L. L. Really? Yeah. Yes. Didn't I see Remy had something too in the Bronx? I, I believe she does too. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. They were doing something, and uh, she she unveiled her street name. I'm off of my uh, finals takes, but what I will say is Jeff Van Gundy was severely missed on the commentator, commentator tip. Severely missed by me. I, I don't. Yeah. I almost wanted him. He should have been home in at least his living room, commentating like the, that. The, that he needed to be there. He and Mark Jackson got uh, chemistry. Mm-hmm. He and Mark Jackson bounce off each other. They crack on each other. They do all of that. They just got a friendship and a chemistry that is hard to just. Replace. And him and Mike Breen like. Like they put, he be with the goats, yo. Like yeah. um, commentating these games, and we'll get out of here. We'll talk on Patreon, but commentating yeah. these games is it's not easy. It's art. It's, it's, it's a art. It's a skill mm-hmm. to it. Talking period. But again, even with that, the chemistry that Doris Burke. Shout they, out to her, Doris Burke, Hubie, amazing. Hubie, I like Hubie yeah. at eighty nine years old. He's eighty nine. He's old. Oh, Hubie yeah, yeah, is eighty nine years old. old. Yo. I mean. That's off the top. He might be 87, but... He, he knows still. basketball like the back of his hand, though. No question. You know what I'm saying? We got to get that while we can get it, yeah. right? Like, when Dick Vitale went down for a little bit mm-hmm. with his health, college, college ball missed out, yeah. and we missed out. Yeah. And then he came back, and it was... Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We, we need that. We need that. Um, um, Rest in peace to uh, the kid Jeff Gladney. Not familiar. From the Vikings. He passed away. Him and his girl. Yes. Oh, him wow. and his girl passed away. Damn, that one I want to get into some more on Patreon yeah, with the right. driving, and thank God that the other car that they hit was completely safe and sound. Mm-hmm. Uh, that young woman, people were familiar with her from Instagram. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Her last Insta story was them in a vehicle. His last stories were there were were them outside turning up, having a good time. Uh, there's been no toxicology yet, so I won't speak on it, but mm-hmm. thank God that the other car was okay. Right. Right? So that's important. Yo, again, I say here all the time, some of y'all think it's an outro. Life is a series of moments. It's not an outro. I don't say it just to say it, even though it might sound cool, but it's a series of moments, and moments pass. So let's appreciate these shits while they're here. Let's love the people that we love to be around. Let's avoid the people that we hate to be around. Let's cherish our family. Let's just make the phone calls we need to make. You know what I mean? That's important to me. I think about shit like that. No, you're right. You never know. You never know. You never know. You just don't know. So you want to live like that. Uh, Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. Peace. 100. All of that good stuff. Last but certainly not least, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And I will take them. (laughs) That game. That game ain't leaving no time soon. And the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab a Tylenol. You might get a headache or migraine sometime soon. Uh, shout out to all the creators, the podcasters out there, Nori. Um, Nori's been texting me. I don't know if it's smoke, if it's love. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he got something dropping. No, Nori's kicking ass. Gilly's kicking ass. People are kicking ass out there, yo. And I love to see it, man. Shout out to everybody out there doing what they got to do to get by. Amazing what we can do when we are well rested. This mm-hmm. was amazing, gentlemen. Salute to each of you. Salute to each of you. This was phenomenal. Uh, and I'm gone, man. Y'all hold it down. I don't know what the weather is this weekend. I'll be with my baby. I'll be with my youngest. I'll be in the house just taking a sabbatical because you did a lot. You did a lot. Joe Budden with your little hot ass this week. You did a lot. (laughs) You did a lot. You did a lot. I mean, I'm sure other people here did a lot too, but won't talk about it on air. I did a lot. (laughs) I did a lot. Anybody else did a lot? Nah. Just me and 21 Savage. How many parties you went to? A lot of these? No, I didn't. <laughs> How my daughter? How many people you met? A, a lot. lot. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, I love it, show. You my guy. J-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-
Nudrobun. Enough of daddy.